Hello, hello! So a group of friends and I just completed a D&D one-shot called The Wild Sheep Chase. Link to the campaign down below. Uh, before I ran this campaign, I found it helpful to go onto YouTube and watch others go through it. Uh, so I figured I'd add our own playthrough to YouTube for others to use as inspiration. I uh, hope you find it helpful, maybe entertaining. Uh, if you enjoyed this, be sure to check out my Twitch channel called Hello Tonka, where I do play some D&D, but primarily play Final Fantasy XIV and just get distracted a whole bunch so all right let's begin uh all right so i know okay, here's the thing we're doing a one shot and i think one of the most difficult things with a one shot is can we can we get the whole thing in in time um yeah. we'll and so in, we'll we'll cram it in uh, it might be tight <laughs> uh yeah so i It'll think i think we'll we'll kind of we'll kind of start <laughs> and then we'll talk about uh in the same order Let's go over, uh, you tell us a little bit about your character. Sure, sure, sure. Um, people are probably going to be fairly familiar, at least from my side. For everyone else, this is going to be hopefully a pleasant experience. We'll see. Um, I'm going to be rootin' tootin' Seymour Valentine. Um, and he's going to be an artillerist, uh... Uh, definitely belongs in a fantasy campaign setting friend, um, which is going to just work really well with everybody else in the party, I think. Um, the, the central conceit is that he, he sort of pretends that he's very rough and tumble, he's ready to rock and roll, but actually he might have uh, a hard time picking up his own gun if it wasn't for his... Uh, alchemically enhanced suit. Um, so, you know, we'll see. We'll see <laughs> how things go. Oh, nice. Uh, Alpha. Uh, so, I'll be playing, or I'm Alpha, and I'll be playing Optimus Primal, uh, a Warforged Druid. Um, kind of a, uh, so he's, he's a, like, when you look at him, he's a relatively tall, looks like he's combat ready, except that he's kind of got, like, a, um, uh, well, he's weaved in and out of his construction are like our bands of like mismatching leather and straps and and swaths of leather and and uh, carved into his chest plate is his serial number, which is zero P one M U five Optimus. And yeah. uh, basically, he was he had some other purpose that he's not entirely certain of, and uh, he he got he you he he got. Um, well, he got busted up, and they no longer found any purpose for him, and his memory got erased, and he got adopted by some druids. And so this is this is all the stuff that this crew would have known about Optimus because th this crew has been been together. So, uh, so basically, yeah, he's he got in with this band of druids, and and uh, they they included him in their in their imbuing ritual, and now he's got druid druid magic, <laughs> and he's off to adventure. You're uh, one of them uh, golems, right? That's what they call you? I believe I'm considered a construct, but I like to think that I have a soul. A, a what now? <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> What's a soul? That makes sense. <laughs> uh, all right, Baron. I will be portraying Baron Antony Vaskelm Casalanter III. Uh, to his fellow landed gentry, he's known simply as Cass. Uh, but to his servants and lessers, uh, he is known as Antony, which is, of course, what his fellow adventurers will be calling him. He cuts an imposing figure uh, at six foot five with broad shoulders. He's armored in finely polished chain mail. He has a shield uh, emblazoned with a rearing white stallion on a red field and a black horizontal bar. And the uh, pommel of his sword uh, is shaped to be the same animal. Um, his hair is quaffed and perfumed. His beard is perfectly trimmed to the last hair. Uh, he is in, in all ways a picture of nobility, apart from the fact that his skin carries a verdant green tint to it, and there are two prominent tusks jutting out from his lower jaw. Uh, he certainly appears to be a half-orc, but is very insistent that there is not a drop of orcish blood in his veins. Uh, it's it brilliant. Up. Don't bring it up. <laughs> He's just a bit sensitive. <laughs> um, was there, and there was a little bit of a, a history between Seymour and Baron, right, that we kind of talked about as far as, didn't you get into a, a kerfuffle originally, or is that, is that canon? 
Yes, that's uh, how Antony and Seymour met. I think uh, we were in a in a tavern, and uh, Seymour was uh, trying to talk to him about his Orcish heritage, and it just didn't. Uh... Just saying, if you look like an orc and you walk like an orc, I I was just I was just curious. I just I just wanted to know a little bit more. You know, I'm not saying I'm six beers in or nothing, but well, well, tell me more about this. My, my good man, both my parents are humans. I am a human. Very, very but, much just human. But the, the bone things on the bottom of your jaw? It's just, uh, how, how dare you address my deformities? This is quite cruel of you. Quite cruel I indeed. I don't think they're deformities. I think every other half-orc I've met has them. Oh, let's, well, let's listen here. <laughs> it's um, and beautiful. The way that's... The way that Seymour tells the story is that he definitely won and didn't need Optimus Primal to raise him basically from the dead. But I think onlookers will tell you he got pretty decently knocked out in a single punch. <laughs> got, got. Yeah. Anthony, uh, Anthony is a, 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 a fighter, a battlemaster fighter. Uh, so he, uh, he enjoys these kinds of, of scrums uh, because he's a knight, not because he's a half-orc. Because he's been trained in the in the martial arts. Um, well, let's. Um, I want to. I want to kick it off. And so, what we'll do is uh, explain a little bit. This is a group of adventurers that they know each other, uh, and you know, in between uh, all their. What did? What was your? Uh, no, I don't want to get sidetracked. You just got done defeating something else, <laughs> um, and you know what? You guys have been working hard. Uh, you're level five now. Um, and you just stopped into this adorable town uh, for a break, uh, just to re uh, uh, just have some relaxation. There's a cute little rustic inn you were staying in, and um, it's in the town of a place called Wellspring. And going on right now, cue up a little bit of background music there. Um, outside is a fair that is. Uh, has been going on uh, throughout the day and you thought you'd go outside and check it out and 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 as you step out you know the the traditional fair trappings are all there you are getting wafts of you know carnival food um, this is a largely medieval setting but you can't have a carnival without fried food there's games set up here and there uh, and as you look out, you see uh, in one area, there's a big old hog, and they're having a contest to see who can guess its weight the closest. Um, in another area, you see like three games in close proximity. Um, and then in another area, you see uh, some delicious food. Uh, and I'm curious which, well, it looks and smells delicious anyway. Which of the three areas you'd like to go to? Is there a prize if you do win the hog? Um, the you <laughs> win the hog. I'll be honest, the hog was the first thing I thought of too. Like, um, I need, I need you, to win that hog. You, uh, you do not win the hog, but there's this beautiful golden trophy that's got to be worth something. Uh, you know, one the bigger one goes to the person who actually raised the the delicious looking succulent pig and then a smaller nice one goes to the person who can guess its weight the closest uh so those are your three options and you mentioned games what are the nature of these games yeah you see over there in the games there's a ring toss there's uh that big old hammer game hammer striking game and then there's the uh finding the balls one well, not to stereotype myself, but I think Antony would be most interested in the hammer game. Okay. He's he's a big burly lad. And I'm I'm sure that uh, the others will want to see this. I'm very intrigued. Bet you anything it's rigged. He's not going <laughs> to oh. get it past halfway. <laughs> it is a fair. <laughs> and why would they do that? Oh, uh... No, fairs are all all fair is why they're named that actually. Yeah. Don't don't worry about it, Optimus. Everything's on the up and up around these places. <laughs> that makes so much sense, thank you. <laughs> Alright. So 
you approach you approach the hammer uh, strike game um and there's a beautiful big plush uh hippo just waiting to be one uh and it's really straightforward you just walk up you get a hammer and you take the biggest swing that you can i will take the biggest swing let's see if i have anything <laughs> i don't think any of my features allow me to i can't like He's no. taking it very seriously. I just, I just <laughs> want to make sure, you know. Okay. All I right, expend I'm... my fourth level spell slot. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I mean, Anthony would do that. I mean, he's guy. He, he wants to, he wants to show uh, what he's made of. Okay. So, I, what do I? I attack. I um, yeah. Strength um, check. Yeah. Do. Uh, yeah. Do strength. Strength check. Okay. I'm gonna roll actual physical dice. I got first roll uh, game. A sixteen. <laughs> Yeah, it it goes up there pretty high. It's it's impressive. Some onlookers go, oh, not bad, uh, but it was not enough to, to satisfy the bell at the top. Uh, he I, comes yeah. back to to the group and says, oh, "Seems you're right, Seymour. It is indeed rigged." <laughs> um, <laughs> there there's a real temptation here um i think i think you like see see more fiddles with something under his vest maybe and you hear like the sound of something springing uh the sound of like a hydraulic fluid filling and i think i think seymour is like yeah no nah, must be uh must be something wrong with the with the device let me let me check it out real fast for you baron uh and uh he, he i think he's gonna walk up and he's gonna try the same thing um, so I am, in fact, expending one of my uses of my armor of strength for this because this is a decision I have made. Um, oh no! I only got an eight. <laughs> my hubris. That's that. Okay. Yeah. It it, it only goes up a, a small amount, and you hear some kid go, "I got it higher than that." <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, I face don't... bright red. <laughs> Perhaps I could give it a try. I would like no, to try it. Uh, oh, yeah. So uh, the person who's manning it, um, he's a he's he's a big rotund fellow. He's actually a very buff guy, and he's shirtless except for uh, like a leather vest. Um, and he says, uh, "We'll go on, then. You couldn't do any worse than that." <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. I'm gonna also uh, on the sly cast guidance on myself because I can do that. Ooh. And it didn't help. That's only a twelve. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pull yeah. back like. <laughs> yeah, and you know it. It goes up to about the middle, and they say, you know, nice try, nice try. You know, it's really kind of just meant for you know the toughest among us, but. uh I hope he had fun. Does Optimus look like one of those uh, drinking birds? You know, you know the little birds that drink water. <laughs> just like, <laughs> it's just like a very mechanical, like dunk. <laughs> when he did that, absolutely. <laughs> it's very uh, awkward to swing thing. Okay, so uh, you know, as you're kind of you know bandaging your wounds a little bit, uh, you know, you're just looking for what what should we do next while we're here. Uh, now that we finally have some time off from from saving everybody and uh you see coming just charging at you well let's see how quickly you do see it if you don't mind doing a perception get a 16. 15. optimus is terribly distracted okay yeah, Optimus. Um, and Optimus, you're the most magic-y of the group, aren't you? Yes. Um, so while while you're distracted, the other two sees um, this sheet come running just as fast as it can. You hear its little feetsies in the uh, in the dirt and a little bell ringing, <laughs> and. Uh, he comes right up to you, uh, Optimus, and he's just jamming his face into your legs, and he's got, and you can just look down, you can see he's got a big scroll in his mouth. Oh. 
Um, oh, hello, little one. <laughs> and I'm going to reach down and just kind of pick up the, the note and take a look. All right. So you, you pick up the scroll, and on it, on it is got uh, writing on it that says, Speak with Animals. Oh, um, I, this is perfect. I will uh, go ahead and just read the spell. And so I'll activate the Speak yeah. with Animals. You do. You read that speak spell. Speak with Animals anyway? I didn't prepare it today, so thankfully oh. there's a spell there. Um, Good. Did, 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 one second here. Yeah, so you read it out loud, and I'm going to say this, instead of it just being you, we'll just, the three of you can hear this, or understand this sheep for now, uh, rather than doing a thing where we're relaying things back and forth a whole bunch. Uh, bam, bam, bam. And so he says, Oh, thank goodness, thank goodness I found you. Uh, I I need help, I'm being held prisoner. I, I, I just need someone who can... Help me change, change myself back into the beautiful wizard elf that I was. Wizard elf, oh my goodness, what? Who has taken you? I'm a no good wannabe wizard. He's changed me into a sheep, and I've been stuck this way for two years. Oh my! He that has is not good. He has my wand. It's the only thing that can change me back. I need your help. I do, obviously, uh, normally I would do it myself because I'm a very powerful wizard, but Kent. Anthony, uh, Anthony leans over to see more and says, "How long does a sheep live, my good man?" Now, uh, I'm no good with arithmetic, but um, not normally too much longer than this. It's got to be said. Mm. Um, Your Highness, I don't. I don't know that I actually trust this sheep very much. Wait. Um, it does look delicious. Oh. I'd like <laughs> to try and see if I could uh, gauge its intentions. Um, yeah, you want to, um, what do you roll for that? That sounds like an insight, insight. check to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's my... Oh. Uh, what's 17? Yeah. Rather insightful. Yes, it is. All right, one sec. You here? Yeah, you can. You. He's telling you the truth. He desperately needs your help, and he has been poly more, uh, as you can surely see there. Um, yeah, he he's earnestly, uh, earnestly, uh, what earnestly needing your help. No, he said he was uh, that he was an elf, right? Yeah, he said he was, yeah. Um, so Antony will lean forward and in crisp textbook perfect Elvish uh, s uh, say some kind of generic, uh, you know, um, uh, 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 phrase book uh, introduction, like, you know, hello, my name is Antony. Um, and he says, we don't have time for formalities in in Elvish with a slight hit of uh, bleat. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time. Um, and, uh, <laughs> you know, it's at, at that moment that there's more commotion. Um, and then now, uh, go ahead and roll it, see how quickly you can see this person, or this individual approaching. Person, we know that. Yeah, spoiler. Oh boy, I rolled a natural two, so... At an 18. Seven. Also seven. So it okay. switched around this time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you were you were fairly embarrassed about being caught off guard last time. Um, and so this time you're particularly vigilant. And you see just running in, in your direction now is um, a, a fairly, you can see him from fairly far away. So it's a large figure. He's surrounded by three wolves. And even further behind him is another large cloaked figure. Um, and they are moving with intent. I'm not saying necessarily they're going to attack you, but they look like they uh, mean business. Um, as they're um, approaching, there's a good number of people out there. This is a fun carnival atmosphere. 
you're just pushing past anybody that hasn't moved, uh, shoving anyone that's in their way aside. Does uh, it look like they're they're coming? Like, would we would we think, oh, they must be coming for this the sheep down here? Um, you may think that. <laughs> they don't okay, have well. they don't have weapons drawn at the moment, but I mean, they're they're serious. They mean some business. Uh, okay. So you know, I think in that moment, uh, um, Optimus will kind of uh, step out between him and the sheep, and just kind of like looking over at the uh, at my companion, say, um, "I do believe these these folks mean trouble," and he's just kind of kind of like get get the sheep back behind him and and uh, and gesture to his friends to step forward. Yeah, as soon as uh, as soon as Antony's made aware of this, he'll step forward, you know, unsling his shield and loosen his sword uh, and stand next to Optimus uh, in a defensive posture. Okay. So I you thought we were not working today. <laughs> yeah. So you, you sort of form a, a bit of a wall between uh, these entities and the, uh, the adorable sheep. I don't know if I mentioned how cute he is. Super cute. Um, and uh, he, as he gets closer, he stops um, about like 10 or 15 feet from you. Um, and just seeing now that they're closer, you can see that this is it's also not also the only half orc, right? <laughs> it's a half yes. orc there, and then uh, he's got these three wolves. They've got these um, just metal collars on, and then that big, big hulking hooded figure behind him. Um, and he Your says, "Friends, it's a half orc. You cannot trust them." <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's a reminder for anybody who just tuned in. Baron is a half-orc, but he's in denial about it. Um, <laughs> and so he says, You best be giving me Master Noak's sheep back. Can you just tie and kindly get out of the way? It's not your sheep. I'll be taking I, it back now. I'm sorry. I actually don't believe that this is a sheep at all. Tell me what it is then. I don't have time for games. Oh, but this sheep uh, claims that it is a, a, a human. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> an elf. <laughs> Look at it. It's a sheep. You crazy man. All right. Um, I'm uh, just a, for as a moment, I'd like to look back at the wolves and say uh, to them, you know, in wolf talk, are you also humanoids? Give them. Just give him back the sheep. There doesn't need to be any trouble. The wolves are saying that. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, yeah. It's, you're speaking, speak with animals right now. So yes, confirm they're at least animals. Just well, give him. Just they, give him back. Just give him back. There doesn't need to be any trouble. Although, <laughs> wouldn't mind a little. If I'm being honest. I don't know about you two. But I think we might need to fuck somebody up. <laughs> and if, well, I'll give you guys a second to reply. Uh, no reply. Antity draws his uh, sword. <laughs> he said, well, let's do it your way then. And uh, I'm going to need y'all to roll for initiative. Yes. Okay. So at the top of the order is the the half orc um, that you are engaging with. And he pulls out a very large great sword from his from his uh, back. Uh, and so we're doing theater of the mind. I didn't I didn't uh, quite explain that up at the top, but you know, as I mentioned, he's about we'll say he's about 15 yards. Uh, is that what we know? Do we what do you measure in feet or yards in this game? It's feet, right? Yeah. Usually feet, yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, feetsies. About 15 feetsies back. Um, and, you know, he's surrounded by his, his comrades. But um, I kind of pictured Optimus there in the middle in front of the in front of the sheep. So he charges uh, straight at you with his uh, great sword drawn and uh, just does a straight up attack, trying to intimidate you here. But, wait, I will use my fighting style protection 
to uh, impose disadvantage on that attack roll. Okay. So I kind of, you know, maneuver my shield in the way to complicate things for him. Uh, 11. And then I hold my shield up. Does nice. Not hit. Weapon attack. Oh, it's plus. I, I, oh, I'm looking at the wrong guy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So does uh, does an 11 hit? It does not. <laughs> Whatever. So he's got this giant sword. He comes right at you, and somehow he manages to uh, whiff it, and whiff it good. And then, uh, and he's just like, "Oh, ah. we're oh, I I guess we're fighting." <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that, so up next is Seymour. Yeah. So how far away are the wolves from us? The wolves are just there's like. They're kind of flanking him, so there's two beside him and one behind him. Are they within, hypothetically, ten feet of each other? They're really close. Well, you well, you know what, I, 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 yes, they're still close to each other. He ran off, so he's not there anymore. He's in front of uh, Optimus. But yes, okay. the wolves are still, uh, they were, like, right at his heels. They're well-trained. I think uh, Seymour is digging around in uh, one of his backpacks. He has sort of two satchels slung over his shoulders, um, and he he pulls out this uh, metal canister. Um, it's faintly glowing uh, green, I think, for uh, from the lid, uh, which he unscrews a little bit, and he's just going to sort of toss it over towards the wolves. Um, and they need to make a DC 15 dexterity check, please. Hey. Is this your acid flask? No. Nah, uh, yes. listen, the wolves didn't do nothing wrong yet, so uh, we'll just keep them over there. Oh. All right, only okay. one of them passed it. The rest okay. failed. Um, the other out of the canister explodes a bunch of uh, webbing, um, and the other, t the two that fail it are stuck where they are until they succeed on a DC 20 strength check. The one who made it gets out scot-free. Okay, um, no damage, they're stuck. No damage, just gotcha. stuck there for right Okay. Now. Okay, good. Um, and then next in the order is technically the uh, uh, figure just sort of hanging back. And uh, he's just going to bide his time. And uh, Cass is next. Okay. Um, so I think it'd be pretty, um, pretty straightforward here. I'm going to... Uh, try and get past his defenses with my long sword try and hit him with the with the old sword the orcman uh yes the guy who tried to stab my robot friend yeah um and that is an 18 to hit uh yes 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 does hit. Okay. Ooh, that's 12 points of damage all oh, right um... and, he, and he just eats that up and I get I get two attacks with my attack action, but I roll the natural one mm -hmm. on the second one. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you you connect with him real nice, and uh, you can see that he's he's kind of startled. Uh, you know, especially coming off of his miss. You know, he's starting to sort of second guess himself. And then when you missed, what what, what was your weapon? The long sword. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, and you took a big fat swing of the long sword, and somehow just it completely whiffed him. Uh, he starts laughing at you. <laughs> Is that the best you got? That's ridiculous. I'd never miss like that. Well, I'm going to use the shield master feet to use my bonus action to try and push him five feet back with my shield. All right. After he laughs at me. Um, so we have to make contested. I make an athletics check, and he makes either athletics or acrobatics to resist it. Ooh, that's not great. I got a 12. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, he, well, he got an 18. All said. Well, so that's just compounded embarrassment, but I try to hit him with my shield and knock him back, but I guess... You Guess you not. you kind of stumble back a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> 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 five feet apart now. No. <laughs> uh, okay. So then uh, that's that. Then Alpha or uh, Optimus. 
All right. Um, Optimus looks back and says, and now you're just being rude. And pulls his hand back behind him and out from his hand pops out Scimitar. And uh, he just goes ahead and, and tries to swipe down against him with a, a regular old attack roll. Oh, that's a 19 to hit, or 18 to hit. Yeah, you got him. Hey. <laughs> so that's seven points of slashing damage. As he comes down, uh, uh, comes down with the strike and catches him on the shoulder, he's just going to chuckle a moment and say, <laughs> oh, that probably hurt. Pull back <laughs> and then ready for the next attack. I've had words. <laughs> Um, and then... Um, so that's... Oh, do you that's have it more for my stuff? attack. Um, actually, uh... I do have two weapon fighting. I can use my bonus action with my dagger. So I'll just go ahead and just do a quick little dagger swing. From his other hand pops out a small little dagger, and he's gonna then attack him again. Oh, wow. That's, a uh, 21. <laughs> Ooh. How do you do? Yes, that one hits, too. <laughs> Not good. It's only two points of damage, but still. Hey, hey. <laughs> In the right direction. And uh, that's it for my turn. Yeah, he's definitely given given you uh some you know, uh dirty eyes. Like, you know, you just hit him a one two punch and he's not loving it. Um uh, ba ba And then uh next is wolves. So okay, they are they're just sorta of gonna spread out. Each uh each one of them is gonna is gonna come at you and do a a, a a bite. Sorry, only one wolf is. <laughs> oh, that's Stuck. right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. So the other the other two uh, uh, they're gonna just uh, they're gonna hang out. <laughs> they're gonna be like, you can hear them like, yeah, go get them. <laughs> do they have to make? A, can they make some kind of a a, a save then to try to break out? It's either an hour, a gallon of alcohol, or a DC 20 strength save. So oh, they, got, they gotta get 20? Yes, yeah. They gotta, they gotta get 20? Uh, did you say strength? Okay, well, yep. let's just roll those and get that over with. No, absolutely not. <laughs> okay, they gotta, uh, if it's strength, then it is 19 plus one. One of them got out. I was not expecting no! that. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I was 150 gold! <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's so daggum powerful. Uh, uh, but that's their that's their turn. So they're still they're still back there this time. And the one uh, one comes up uh, not happy about the the webbing action and and comes for you, Seymour. Uh, oh. And rolls a a six, but that probably hits, right? <laughs> Actually, it does not. Just misses. Uh. <laughs> yeah, tried tried to bite you and just sort of whiffed the air. And then he growled at you, so I don't know if that affects you at all. Usual Tuesday. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, to repaint that, you've got uh, you got the half orc right there in front of uh, Optimus, and then a wolf in front of uh, Seymour, and a cloaked figure, a nut, an additional some like ten yards back, just sort of hanging out there, um, and then. Uh, Okay, so we're back at the top of the order. It is half orky time, and he is uh, just gonna—he's uh, gonna try out. He's gonna Real try half out. Orc, very yeah, the only half orc in 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 the area. Um, he's gonna—he's gonna take his uh, sword and uh, do a a whirling great sword attack. Uh, now you guys will have to let me know how how close. I know you kind of formed a wall. For protecting uh, the sheep, so I imagine you close, but you can go ahead and tell me if you're not actually right there flanking uh, uh, um, Optimus. Uh, uh, no, I was I was right next to him. I would like to have been behind the two of them, but uh, whatever sort of makes sense in the moment. I am not risking my life for this sheep, though. I'm just letting <laughs> you know now, Optimus. <laughs> well, you, well, you can be the noble soul here. I'm out. Okay, we'll, we'll say you're back there uh, by the sheep, just uh, just out of range, because this thing, uh, you know, it's the distance of a sword. So the two of the you... The reason why the wolf missed is because I dodged behind the sheep, actually. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like that. Um, it's a... Uh, what's his... 
It's a 23 to hit, assuming that's both of you. Um, and the great sword swirling attack is two, two, 10. I can't, I can't use my fighting if style. Have, to yeah, if you him. have any sort of whatever reactions uh, that you want, I mean, let me know. But otherwise, it is 10 points from that swirly sword. Okay. 10 points. Um, as soon as the, uh, oh, actually, never mind. I'll wait for my turn. Um, yes. Uh, so next is Seymour. Cowering behind the sheet. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> No, a hundred percent. I pop, I pop my head up over the sheep. See that the wolf is still there. Well, by God damn it! And then I, uh, I pull out what looks like uh, something that the observer in the real world might observe as a gun, but of course it is just an arcane focus because that is what exists in this world. <laughs> um, I think um, I pull back what would be some sort of uh, moving portion to my arcane focus. Um, and it, like a, a red chambered uh, cartridge sort of filters in. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and cast Firebolt on this guy. Um, so we'll see how we do. Uh, 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 um. We're gonna go ahead and is a, oh boy, a 19 to hit the wolf. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. Very uh, much. And then I'm gonna do... Which, uh, Wolfie, are you going for that one that's up here? Uh, the, in the one brain? who managed to get up to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to straight up just uh, do 18 points of damage. Uh, and then, is the wolf still up? All right, so when you do the 18 points of damage to the wolf, mm -hmm. yes, I will I will let you uh, sort of describe how this wolf is taken out. Okay. Uh, and the thing is, is that um, this is an expelling of one of my spell slots. So, um, you know, as as I sort of uh, move the uh, the new cartridge in, right, uh, my hand maybe sort of uh, glows, imbues it with something a little bit extra. Um, and as I as I cast the spell, such as it were, um, you know, it's it's just a, a flaming hot ball of uh, magical energy that impacts right against the wolf and probably knocks it down gently with no guts showing because we're rated PG-13, so. <laughs> yeah, only uh, only the most tame of guts spills from this wolf. Mm -hmm. A little, a tasteful a little amount. spiral smoke. Yeah. <laughs> and just a tasteful amount of guts comes out. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm assuming it's it's somewhat singed from this attack, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and, you know, just mixed in with the other aromas of the uh, fair it's just an uh, just another meat uh, to waft and fill the patron's knock um you at this oh, yeah. point now that <laughs> yeah it's been a round of combat are the townsfolk just like yeah, oh everything I'm just, is as usual i was just gonna i was just gonna talk about it. you know and now it's it's been a little bit of time uh you know what probably around 10 seconds ish so um they already were causing a commotion when they ran up and were pushing people out of the way um, and just being rude. Uh, you know, people were clearing out, and everybody that was close by and was hearing the interaction between the two knew it was gonna be a showdown. You, you know, you get the feeling in this town that it's, it's a, it's not a, it's not an adventurer's hot spot, per se. You guys definitely stand out, a, you know, warforged, a gunslinger, and then this noble half-orc man, um, that's clearly ready for action. Uh, actual, just regular man, not half orc. Sorry, because <laughs> you can hear me, uh, the voice of God speaking. Uh, so, but there, so there's people now that they're they're leaving, they're retreating and, and getting distance. Um, and then uh, was it, that was just uh, Seymour that went. Yeah. And also, so the the townsfolk are leaving. They're not like, hey, they're these like interlopers are taking one of our friends' sheep. They're like. Oh, something's going down. We're yeah. going to disappear. Um, yeah, they're leaving. Okay. There's, uh, you don't you don't see any guards immediately. At least not at this point, you know. Um, so it's it's people clearing out and giving it space now. You know, as of right now, it's a it's a bit of just you know kerfuffles happen. Uh, so you know, every once in a while, you know, you kind of expect that thing. Um, 
So, I mean, it's not it's not barren. Everybody's running. Somebody rang the uh, bell and all the villagers went into their houses. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, uh, but after seeing um, one of these wolves just so quickly decimated, um, that, that hulking figure in the back um, starts charging and his cloak comes off and you see that it was just a giant bear on its hind legs <laughs> that was wearing this cloak. And so now as he gets closer, uh, you just see this big hulking bear coming at your way, snarling and growling. Um, and he's he's got his eyes on uh, on Cass. Uh, he... Just because we rolled sevens on our perception, because Brown that has got to be the world's biggest cloak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's completely covered, and and remember, he he stood back a good deal, and uh, I think, yeah. Uh, so he, he's closing to hit me. Yeah, he, he's closing in. Uh, what's his? Okay, I mean, he he's he's he can reach you unless you're doing something. So the only thing I can do is one of my maneuvers uh, allows me to use my reaction um, to attack, make an attack, make one attack against a creature that enters my range. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I must expend a superiority die to do that. Uh, and I got on the attack. Well, that's probably not going to do it. I got a 14. Um, well, I'll tell you, uh, just, I mean, it's a bear. So its armor class isn't, <laughs> it's not wearing any, it, 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 it's cloaks. If they had any armor class at all are gone, gone. It's naked now. It's a bear bear. And I did not prepare that pun. Sorry. Uh, and he's coming at you. So I'm assuming that missed and he's going to do his thing. Yeah, I did a 14 missed this. Is which is okay. All right, yeah. he's 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 gonna go for an attack on you. Okay. Um, and he's got what's his plus to attack here? Plus, okay, so he he rolled a dirty twenty. Well, that will hit. All right, and so he just he chomps down on you. He gets you a big bite. Uh, if I can remember which dice are which. I should know that by now. This one. Whoop. Ooh, he rolled very well. Um, okay, he got you with 12, 12 points. Ooh, not bad, not bad. Um, and for his second attack, he is going to uh, rear, rear back and get you with his claws. Let's see. And he rolled uh, very high, 24. Well, I mean, whose dice are these? These are my wife's dice. I'm gonna have to switch her. I like these dice. Um, <laughs> so I assume then that's gonna it's gonna get you. That might hit. Yeah, might get you a little bit. I'm so sorry. Are you? No. Don't be. Don't be sorry. That's your job. I feel like I feel like it's not. I want. I need to just. Oh, I want to show the you, dice, but I, I have to stay. I have do? to stay true to it. I rolled two d six, and both of them were sixes. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then nice you, plus sixteen. Four. Oh, yeah, 16. sixteen. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm still you, up. I just got mauled by a bear, but was, I'm still alive. That was rough. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nobody tells you like the, you know, there's certain types of DMs. And I'm the one that kind of feels guilty when things go like this way instead of just like, hey, gotcha. I'm like, I'm so sorry I did this to you as a I'm person. Gonna murder, I'm going to murder your, your creations. You should. <laughs> he's, he's barely hanging in there, someone said. Very good. Um, all right, so you are next. Oh, it's me. Okay. Yeah. You can get your revenge. I'm going to do my best to do just that. Um... And I think I need to get a little bit creative here. So I'm going to uh, use my uh, bait and switch maneuver to swap places uh, with Optimus. So that'll expend another superiority die. Uh, 
and I will add. It's fucked. I'll add six to my AC until my next turn. And then I'm gonna, uh... No, I don't think I'm gonna go after the bear because the half-orc is injured. So I think I'm gonna swing my longsword at the half-orc again. Okay. Um, 17? At the half-orc. Yes, you're good. That hits. Okay. Did you just switch places like five feet to your like left or something just then? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, whoop, just swap. Just <laughs> basically just grabbed, uh, just grabbed Optimus and dragged him in front of the bear and went and slashed into. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> um, so that's nine points with my first attack. Nine points of damage. Uh, a nineteen with my second attack. Five. I rolled a natural one, so five damage on the second hit. Okay. Mm, math. Got it. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, and then I'm going to use my bonus action uh, to use second wind and regain Ooh. Uh, regain some hit points. So I regained nine hit points. Okay. Good thinking. Um, that goes to Optimus. Um, question about um, for future. We're, what is your position with uh, with healing potions? Are they a standard action or do they, do they constitute a bonus action? Um, we're just dealing with like some regular old potions. Yeah, um, I'm I'm okay. I think with bonus action. Uh, either way, I'm just uh, I'm I'm not gonna use it right now. I was just trying to trying to think action economy for later. Sure. Um, yeah. No, it's fine. Uh, so it's approved, uh, and every monster now has ten extra hit points. No, I'm kidding. Hey, perfect. <laughs> kidding. Um, so first off, uh, as the arcing swing comes around and uh, and catches Optimus, he tries to hold up the shield to block the the attack. But as he as he takes the damage, um, as soon as the sword comes across his body, his eyes just kind of go from that glowing green color to like a red color, and uh, for a split for a split moment, he uh, he looks over at the half orc and says. Um, I will destroy you! And then flashes back and green. Oh, goodness! Uh, and then reaches forward with two hands to uh, to spray out some poison from his hand to attack the half-orc with poison spray, and the, needs to make a constitution save 14. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a different dice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, yeah, you know what? I, that's, that's, the, that's the trick. Um, you say it was Constitution. I'm pretty sure we're good on that. What did he have to get? Constitution, uh, 14. Okay, yeah, he he you're he, he got it. He got got. Hey, sweet. Wait, um, ooh, he wow. succeeded or? He oh. got got. Oh, yeah, okay. he, 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 yeah, he yeah he's got. he was successful in the attack. So uh, as as his hands come forward and shoot out a giant spray of a uh, uh, of poison. He does, takes 20 points of poison damage. The, the orky man? Yes, the half orc. Okay. The orc. The orc man. 20 points, goodness gracious. But yeah, he's uh, he's looking visibly shaken by that. That's a big attack. <laughs> um, so then wolves are going to do their thing. <laughs> You're fine. All right. So before uh, he's been, but as he gets switched over to the to the uh, to the the uh, bear, he's saying, "Oh, I can do that too." And then that's it. <laughs> Foreshadowing for the next turn. Perfect. I appreciate that. Um, all right, we've got two wolves that are in the back. One of them's still sticky, and the other one's free to go. And then the other wolf is because you guys switched places now on. Uh, Cass? Is that right? You, I'm gonna say I it mean, is. It's all real close. Yeah. Okay. If you if you are also a member of the landed gentry, you can call him Cass. If well, you... I actually um, the rules don't apply to me. I'm outside of time and space. This is true. <laughs> yeah. Um. So then so you're I pet. I did the uh what was what check was it to get out of the webs? Strength uh, check. This it wasn't it wasn't strong enough. 
So that one is still stuck in there. Um, the one that's up close right now on Cass bloop, rolled a, uh, a 10 to attack. Is that anything? I mean... Does 10 hit no. you? No. I mean, no. No. I, uh, block it, certainly, it, with my it certainly doesn't. Shield. Yeah, he no. goes to bite, and he just gets a mouth full of shield and just goes clank, bounces yeah. off of it, and he yelps a little bit. Um, oh. The other one uh, charges up, and, you know, he's he's done goofing around. He's going around the side to try. He's going to no. run past Optimus, so you'll get uh, an like, opportunity to attack there. But he's going to try and get his, his mouth on that sheepy. I would like to use my reaction. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. To do a, a thorn whip and see if I can pull him back 10 feet. Ooh. Nice. Uh, that is... You have Warcaster? To hit. I do. It's what? Nice. Uh, 22 to hit. Yep, you get him. So, so it, uh, what does he get? He gets pulled to you or something? Uh, he gets pulled 10 feet closer to me. So basically, as he, as he gets away, he's going to get hit and then get pulled back. He's going to lose 10 feet of movement speed. If he's still got more left, then he can still get to his target. But I'm just slowing him down for, for 10 speed. No, that's fine. He's, he starts to get around, and you're like, mm, no, thank you, and you pull him. Um, <laughs> All right, and that's, uh, it takes eight points of, of uh, piercing damage. I think it's piercing. Okay. Oh, yeah, one of piercing. Them. Let's see, uh, All right. So, whoop. All right, this wolf, when you get him, he yelps. He yelps a big time. He's, uh... Oh, I'm so sorry. I was just trying to stop you. Screw you. <laughs> no. <laughs> there. Uh, and then, oh, yeah, the one that's up on, on cast. Did I already try to get uh, an attack on you? What? Did he... Yeah. Oh, yeah, he, he, he bit the shield. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, all right, so then that's the that's that and we go back to the top and the half orc is uh, now in front of uh, Cass though he's not particularly uh, Happy with the uh, trickery. He's a fairly uh, Simple fellow and he's like you can't trick me. I know you're a different guy now um, and he goes to do the uh, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the whirling greatsword because you switched places, uh, but didn't move, so you're still right next to each other. Yes. Um, seventeen plus whatever. I think I think we're good on that, right? Plus well, five. but I get 20, I got a twenty-two. Yeah, but because of my six. maneuver, I got a plus six, so my AC is oh. twenty-four for yeah, a turn. You're good. So I managed to dodge that one. I take it to the face. You bend oh, down no. and you're like, mm, yeah. <laughs> mm, it hurts so good. <laughs> uh, okay, so I should probably roll for that, eh? Um, shoot. All right, let's 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 hope that this is a little bit more forgiving. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. Um, it is 10, an even 10. Okay. How you doing? You feeling all right? Yeah. See... See, see more Valentine. Yeah, so we're probably gonna need a long rest after this one, right? How how are we feeling, crew? Um, I'm below half. I have lots of healing abilities. Okay. Um, I I think I think there might be like a look between Seymour and Optimus, if that's cool with you, where he's like. Do I need to pull out the big gun and like you do you do the like eh, okay Meh. yeah Meh. <laughs> um, and he's like fair enough um, and I'm just gonna try and sh shoot the orc again um, which I got a uh, fourteen to hit this time you got fourteen mm -hmm. does the does the tie go to you the runner or is uh, it the uh, is it the person who's defending goes to the attacker yeah yeah okay then you hit okay i am going to do uh 13 points of fire damage that's who, who'd you get that on on um, the orc in front of Cass. okay then or, excuse me 
Anthony. <laughs> hey, very good, yes. All right, well, I've got good news for you. You can kind of uh, paint this picture of his uh, downfall. Nice. Um, I think... I think here's the thing, right? Is that Seymour definitely didn't do like he he's not the one who got the kill, but he is going to be the one who says he gets the kill later in the tavern, <laughs> right? Um, I think it might be a thing where like there's a lot of bodies whirling around. The guy the guy is doing like these big sort of like swinging blows, right? Um, and Seymour just lines one up coolly, uh, casts the spell, and then. Um, I think the thing that is a little disconcerting for the audience too, maybe, is there's no sound, right? Like, because it's not, it's it's actually not a gun, so there's no loud bang. There is the flash of light, but like Seymour probably holds up his spellcasting um, folks eye like to his lips and blows, but there's no smoke. <laughs> like nobody knows what he's doing. <laughs> Just um, used to it. But yeah, nice. you do the little thing where you kind of like and put it right yeah. back. Like, <laughs> But it's player. just a wand, so there's yeah. no handle that comes down. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, he, he falls to the ground, um, and then, you know, upon seeing that, you know, this, this bear is, he's raging. Uh, and he is in front of Cass at the moment, right? Oh, no, wait, we switch. Optimus. He's in front of Optimus. Yep. Um, and so, you know, he's just going to go for it, man. Uh, ooh, that's not great. Um, oh, 15. It's got that's plus a five. Okay. It's a miss, okay. So the, uh, he... the shield kind of comes up and gets uh, gets stuck in his teeth for a moment. I yeah. Think. Um, he goes, <laughs> I, I keep calling you Cass, and there is a Cass viewer, so <laughs> you're not playing, Cassidy. <laughs> um, the uh, the he comes to bite you and, you and you block it so you just get like a bear in your face in his breath and his snarl but uh no actual damage <laughs> uh oh, but he does go for his second attack he rears up his hey, claws impose disadvantage on that one all right my shield Thank goodness my reaction um okay that with disadvantage he's got an 18 to hit oh that that does hit all right, so you get, you get some claw, you get some clawsies on you. All right. Let's see how that does. Okay, that's a better, better that time. Nine. Okay. Yeah. All right. You're doing great. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's. Yeah. Oh, I can cross him out. Optimus. You, all right. I like how it ends up that you guys can kind of react to the one that just attacked you at the moment. <laughs> it's working out well. well the, uh, there's two separate instances. I, I think these happen in, in succession. But uh, after after the swipe, the sword swipe comes through. Um, once again, the, the eyes change from the green to the red. And this time he says, "Stop resisting!" <laughs> and then um, <laughs> is going to uh, to look over at the bear after after you know blocking the attack and saying, "I thought we were going to be friends." And uh, and is going to try and shoot the acid spray at him instead. So it's a Con save for the bear. Okay. Get the thirteen, a uh, sixteen. That succeeds. So it, the uh, the poison spray just goes whoo, like right past the bear, just way over his head. Must have been uh, a, a, a poor poor motion on on, on Optimus's part. Oh, so that's rough. That's rough. Um. um yeah. What, Do you, what, so if at, at this point, however, I will say if if it's a bonus action to take the healing potion, I'd love to take that healing potion. <laughs> <laughs> because Optimus is looking rather messed up. Um. Yes. Go for it. I'm trying to remember. Two D four plus two. Did anybody yes. land? Did anybody land a hit on the bear thus far? I don't. No. Have I don't have any note for. It. Okay. Okay. Is that so your got, healing potion? Got the. Uh, five points back on that one nice um and that's it for my turn that's that okay so what we've got one s sad no wait e i'm sorry one free wolf one caught wolf and one fully health bear i think yeah okay okay i uh second guess my own writing uh okay so the the wolf that's up front uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to try and break out the other wolf real quick. He's going to roll and a you know, critical failure. 
Um, <laughs> he he's in the webbing and he manages to slip and get more covered in it. It's very embarrassing. <laughs> oh, I hate this stuff. It says the word <laughs> as you can hear it. Um, and then the other very bad shape one that's by Optimus Primal goes in for an attack. Uh, oh, it's a 16, and that's not hitting you, right? It's not okay. hitting. Oh, Another you know block with the shield. I was looking at something else. It's not even 16. It's 15. Okay. Um, all right, so that's, that's that for Wolfies, and uh, it's back to Seymour. Okay. Um... Look over to Optimus. Hmm? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I think... Yeah, assessing the situation, you see a big hulking bear that's feeling real good. Yeah. And there's no longer a wolf in front of Seymour, right? N no, no. There's just the one that, uh, uh, that Optimus Thorn whipped. Right. There's there's definitely a moment where Seymour is like, I could just go. We're we're fighting to protect a a sheep. What are, what are we doing here? Um, what are you and, talking about? The sheep can still hear you and just like, <laughs> there's a madman that's polymorphing people left and right and 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 they're leaving them there with my powerful wand. You have to do something. Oh now hold on a second. There is a powerful wand involved in the equation. Okay. Yeah. I'm, yes! I'm just curious. It's... And you cannot have it. It only belongs uh... in the hands of an esteemed elf such as myself. But I have. I'm very wealthy. I have lots I can share with you. I'm I'm Firethirst Shinebright. You've clearly heard of me. We heard of or... him, oh. her, them. Roll a history check. I'm gonna say Optimus absolutely is likely, better. likely not. I mean, if Seymour, <laughs> Seymour kind of comes from elsewhere for sure. Well, I mean, if they're you know nobility, I got a natural twenty. You got a natural twenty. Oh, yes. A natural twenty for a total of twenty-four. <laughs> okay, you do know uh, from overhearing some other people talk um, <laughs> that you know there once was uh, an eccentric wizard that lived in a tower uh, outside of town. And he was pretty good with uh, illusion magics, um, but okay. what was yeah, the name? Yeah, again? illusion and 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 trans transmutation. Uh, Finather Shinebright. Finather, okay. That's how I'm pronouncing it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's correct then. Um, yeah. So, uh, so. Well, it's spelled that way, but it's pronounced gloop glop because that's <laughs> what I can do. <laughs> you can do anything. Um, okay, well, I guess in the midst of the fight, I don't know if Anthony would do anything with that information. Um, yeah. So, but... I do think... Hmm? I was just going to say, I think he says, you know, powerful wand, and Seymour's eyes, like, shine a little bit brighter. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I think... I think uh, depending on... I don't know. How does mending interact with Warforge? Does it work? Um, I would think. I was yeah. Uh, kind of. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look that up. Well, so I'll do that in the meantime. I would oh. say that, like mechanically, not like, hey, that doesn't heal me, but you know, like flavor flavor wise, I like to think that that's kind of like how a lot of the initial wounds got healed. So we'll say that. Okay. Yeah, uh, well, just while well, we look that up, so that way I'm not metagaming too much. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a ray of frost on the bear. Uh, okay. So it's a less powerful shot, it looks like, uh, when like I flip the canister over. Um, but hopefully... 13? For bear? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's... Okay. Uh, I'm going to do... Uh, 13 points of damage, and he's gonna lose his reaction. No reaction. Mm hmm. Okie dokie. Yeah, he gets it. Yeah. He gets it. You chilled him. Um, a little, he's a little bit cold, which I now realize might not have been the best plan against a bear upon retrospective analysis, he, but he just, here we go. he curls up and he falls asleep. 
<laughs> Hi. He's stuck <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, it it is his turn. And uh, he's going to do his tried and true doubly attack. Uh, 18. Does that do a thing to you? Help? 18 gets you, right, Seymour? I'm sorry, he's still... Oh, wait, not Seymour. Um, he's on... Uh, well, maybe, maybe he looks... <laughs> No. All right, he's right there in front of in front of Baron. And it's 18. Does that? Yes, that is my AC. That should hit me. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, the bite. Here comes the bite. Here comes the bite. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Chomp, 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 chomp. Uh, <laughs> it's six. Six, six for a bite. Six, six damages. Okay. Thank you, Fluff Buck. Got it. And welcome. Uh, and then the other, he's gonna go for is his his big old bear claws, and not the delicious donut. Um, twenty two. Now I want a donut, but yeah, that hits. Yeah. <laughs> I've got donuts in my tower. If you oh, help me. Oh, well, now you've caught my attention. <laughs> uh, you got crawlers. <laughs> nine, thirteen. I'm sorry, twenty three. No, yeah, I'm sorry. Nine. What? No, no, not twenty. Oh. Sorry. No. Thir uh, Thirteen. Okay. Thirteen. <laughs> so I'm still conscious then. <laughs> yes. How how are you looking? Like, if we look over and see how you're doing. Uh, he's um he's seen better days. Okay. He's uh he's pretty he's pretty roughed up. Um, I have six hit points left. Okay. Op Optimus. Okay, um, I think uh, I think taking a step back, looking at uh, looking at his roughed up half orc friend, um, and I and I do mean taking a step back because uh, after seeing that the the frost the the ray of frost has kind of like slowed down the bear, he's going to attempt to just take a couple steps back. But on the way back, he's going to uh, um, touch um, uh, touch Anthony's back and say, um, uh, "You got this one, right?" And then. Uh, <laughs> Cast uh, heal, uh, cure wounds. Ooh, very kind of you. Thank you. Uh, ooh, nice. That's ten points of healing. Oh yeah. Oh ooh, yeah. Boy. Um, that's good. That feels and then cool. just kind of like uh, take a couple of steps back and assess the situation. And that's it for my turn. Okay. Um. Alrighty. So then, uh, then it's it's just Wolfie's. We got one wolf back there. He did his 14 plus constitution. I forget. What did he have to roll to get out? Constitution 15. Uh, oh, that's right. That's right. It was a very powerful one. He's still he's still in it. Oh, I want to play. Um, actually, after seeing everything that he's seen, he doesn't really want to. Um, the one that was by. I, I, yeah, by Optimus. Um, it's still gonna try now and get back to the uh, the sheep, especially since he kind of stepped away a little bit. So he's gonna he's gonna run over to the sheep, um, and he. Uh, is this is the wolf. Yeah, he's gonna try and I don't know grab it. Does that count as grappling or whatever with the sheep? I don't know. Yeah, can I use? Or no, yeah. If yeah. he's grappling. Um, no, I can't do anything. Yes. Does he technically own. have to pass by me? I'm gonna. It's... Well, you you stepped away and he was by you. That's true. So okay. if Good. if anything, maybe he had the opportunity to attack, but I wasn't yes. sure. Um. So oh, yeah. yeah. All right. So I don't. What does he have to do to roll, uh, to see if he can successfully grapple the sheep? Are you asking how grapple works? It's basically uh, a, an opposed. Uh, an opposed check. He makes an attack action. Uh, uh, I believe it has to be athletics. And then the target makes either an athletics or acrobatics. Okay. Their choice. Yeah. Well, judging by... But the sheep will not have ranks in that, so it'll just be strength or dexterity, whichever is better. Uh, or you can just roll a straight d20. Yeah, he did. Uh... Sheep did good. Actually, I uh, managed to, like, Pulls a little hoof back and says, "Excuse me." <laughs> He's not having it. 
suspicious about how well this sheep is doing. Yeah, right? <laughs> the wizard sheep, and he can fight. Well, he's, he's not fighting, he just pulled back his hoof. Uh, no, all I'm, right. Uh... Seymour. All right. Um... There's a, uh, a very sad looking wolf that just tried to get the uh, sheep and then the uh, the one that's stuck in the, of course, the big fat bearman. Yeah. Um, and then, hmm. I'm trying to figure out if I have any tricks in this situation, really. Um, and I kind of don't. Uh, 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 um. So yeah, I'm just gonna shoot it again. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh -huh. No, that's good. Ooh. A nine to hit uh, on the injured wolf. For Wolfie? Uh, yeah. yeah, I know his wasn't great, but he, he, he he's okay. It does not hit. Yeah, I, I think I'm a little distracted. Um, my <laughs> left hand keeps inching down towards like a, a little like a fanny pack, for like, lack of a better phrase, that I've got on my waist. I keep looking over at Optimus. I keep looking back. I keep looking <laughs> over at Optimus. Uh, Optimus this time kind of looks over and it's like, yeah, and I think the the nod like surprises him so much he like casts the spell without actually looking at what he's like pointing at and just flies over on the wolf and he's like, oh now you mean you mean now now? Uh, I think that would yeah. be appropriate. <laughs> uh, okay, so then that's for next time mm -hmm. or whenever. Okay, um, right, that was uh, that was you that just went right. Yeah, okay, so it's bear who's still uh, with Optimus, right? He's not, well, he's- Optimus stepped back, right? Oh, I Optimus did step... step back. I mean, the bear's, uh, you know what? It's the easier person to get at his cast. So- Bring it. He's Bring just, it he's just ready for some blood. I'm kinda he hiding loves, behind He loves that red juice. Right what? <laughs> I'm kinda hiding behind Cass right now. Yeah. Uh, 11. Uh, 16 for Baron. No dice. What a drag. Um, and then 18. Well, 18 will hit. Uh, that's his big, big old claws. His bear, bear claws. Uh, he did not roll so well that time. Um, it is an 8. Okay. No! I'm still is alive. That... Okay. No, because of the heel, I'm still up. Ah, right, right, right. thank goodness. Uh, that's the end Optimus. of uh, Bear's turn. It's just animals now. Oh, I'm just like waiting for you guys. Uh, Optimus. All right. You, um, you're not. You step back. You, where am not, I? Where are where you? The, like, where am I in the initiative order? I crossed out Baron for some reason. Have I skipped you a couple <laughs> times? I, I think I ended up crossing him out instead of uh, Maybe. a different guy. Okay. Because you're racist against half works. <laughs> yeah, there's no. only there's only been wait, are you saying? Yeah, only no, me me Fairman is saying right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you do your thing. Okay, so so I get to go. Um so so paint, paint me a word picture. So I've got this bear in front of me. Where's the wolf relative to me? The wolf? Um, it's where Optimus was, who you were right next to. So he's real close. He's definitely within uh, within your reach. Okay. You might have to take a step or two, but whatever. Um, so I think I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go for the wolf to protect the sheep and Optimus. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to swing, swing ye oldy sword. Not bad. A 23? Yeah. 23 hit? <laughs> yeah, you just get him. Uh, 10 points of damage? <laughs> yeah, 23 gets him real good. Yes, 10 points of damage is way too much. So yeah, ex ex explain how that goes if he's just rent asunder or what. Yeah, so uh, I think I'll plunge uh, plunge it down between his uh, shoulder blades, uh, kind of emerging from his chest, pop out of his you know rib cage, uh, 
and then you know yank that out real quick and try and uh, <laughs> catch the <laughs> try and catch the bear on the backswing uh, okay. with my second attack, which is no. a twenty-two. Oh, you get on that bear. Does a twenty-two hit? Oh yes, yes, yeah, hit yeah. The bear? Twenty-two hit. Okay. Some reason I thought it well, was damage. No, I just rolled on the ground. Hold on. Okay. Oh, it uh, is a lies. Okay, I got uh, nine damage. Okay, yes, yes, that does its thing. And, and then I know numbers. Okay, good. And then I'm gonna just try again with that uh, shove action. Uh, use my bonus action and my shield master feet to try and knock the bear back with my shield. Uh, so he has to make a. I assume his strength or athletics is better, but uh, I rolled an 18 on my athletics check. He rolled exceptionally poor. It doesn't matter which modifier he uses. Okay, so he just gets pushed back five feet, basically. Okay. So I just kind of body slam him and he staggers back, I guess. Okay, yes, he does. He staggers. Um, all right, that's, uh, that's it. That's all I got. Yeah, he, 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 he did. Uh, Optimus, you've got um, a bear that's looking kind of, kind of worn, uh, and then the uh, webby wolf. The webby wolf. Okay. Um, Optimus is going to continue to be uh, to be hiding behind the Baron, um, and just kind of like looking over, looks over at the the sheep, says, "Are you all right?" No, I'm not all right. I haven't been attacked, thankfully. I appreciate that. I wouldn't be able to handle them all on my own in uh, in other uh, circumstances. He's going to literally trying to cut off the sheep. Um, And then uh, (laughs) um, looking towards the the bear, saying, saying, I'll get to you next time. And then touching one more time on his buddy for another uh, uh, um, cure wounds. Thank you. And so that's eight points of healing. Oh, that's nice. Oop, I pressed the wrong button. Um, and that's okay. all for Optimus. Nice. Um, all right, so then we got that one wolf who's still stuck. Um, uh, was it Constitution? No, dang it. He's still there, man. Still in that goop. And he's now panicked trying to get out, not because he wants to join the fray, uh, but just because he's trying to get out of there now at this point. And uh, he cannot. Uh, so it's Seymour's turn. Um, yeah, so I, I look at Optimus. I get the I get the up nod. <laughs> Arrow? I think now is as good a time as any. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Except the previous I, I, I like nod. I uh, I pull out this like little like weird mechanical satchel thing. I like slap it down, um, and it starts to like take up like it, it it juts up this like central pillar, and like parts start forming out of it automagically, of course, because this is definitely <laughs> magic. Yeah. Uh, because this is Dungeons and Dragons, um, <laughs> and uh, a little a little flamethrower constructs itself. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> And can the bear please make a dexterity saving throw for me? Uh, how dexterous is the bear? Not. Uh, 14. The bear is going to take uh, 16 points of fire damage. Okay. Um, yeah, and then unfortunately that's all I can do on the turn that I set it up. Um, but yeah. That's all you can do. Well... It well, kills for, the it kills right the now. bear, which is something, oh. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, you can you can paint this picture as well. No, I think I think that's it, right? It's, it's just sort of um, yeah, like I it, it sets up. I'm like, hey. y'all might want a duck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, that's that's the thing. We'll say that that they got oh, out of the way. There's duck here. It's delightful. Ooh, yeah. So <laughs> the bear catches on fire. And it does not die. Immediately, but it does like no, roll on the ground, me <laughs> and it's just like this it's trying. Because of me. This it's is trying to put it out. <laughs> it's trying to put it out, uh, and then eventually you can hear. I guess now you know what it sounds like when a bear whimpers. 
it is Wimbrin, and eventually it just stops struggling. And and you see a single tear roll out of its eye. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> it's messed up, man. Wow. <laughs> wow, bud. <laughs> Can I, I didn't do that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay, so bears out. Uh, no, that... there's order for me. <laughs> <laughs> that just leaves you guys and the webby boy, um, which Baron, you're still kind of crossed out, but yeah, Baron, you can do a thing. Oh yeah, so I'm definitely going to uh, stride forward and stab this wolf heartlessly with my sword. Okay. Is, is talking a free action in mm-hmm. it here, Tonka? Yeah. Listen, I'm just, I'm just saying, Antony. Uh, we, Optimus does magic all the time, literally and metaphorically speaking, with animals. We don't have to. Oh, you want to uh, interrogate it? I mean, we did kill everyone else involved so far, so. Yes, well. This is a very good, very good point. Just uh, quite. Um, so he uh, he comes up and puts the the sword, uh, probably like on its cheek, I guess. Like you know, pressing uh, just under its eye. Oh, uh, tell us everything uh, uh, that you know, or um, I don't know. I'll cut your eyes out. <laughs> Go ahead, because he's he's in a pretty bad spot. Do uh, an intimidation. I shall do an intimidation. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a 20, 30, 20. Okay. All right. Um, Unless you guys are going to try anything else, we're going to say that he's stuck in there pretty well. And he says, I I just, I just want to leave. That's all. I'm not going to fight you. We know that. Are you also a human? Was I? Yes, but that's a pretty good gig right here I got going on. And, and, and the master, nope, he takes care of us. So I just, I just, you know, join the pack and you know, help guard things. That's all. Perhaps. He just wants was. his property back. Perhaps it was a good gig, my man, but look around. This isn't much of a job anymore. Don't. Don't listen to him. He's a he's a bad man and he works for a bad man. Just put him down and let's get moving. Uh, Anthony shrugs and looks at his two companions. <laughs> I must say, I am extremely confused and very intrigued. <laughs> More information would be great. He's gonna continue. He's gonna continue changing people. Some of them, fine. Yes, they don't mind it. Others, it's against their will. Hello? Hello? How would you like to be polymorphed against your will? Tell me, is that a person that you want running around with the, one of the most powerful wands around? Yeah, but the wolf didn't do it. It's whoever he's working for, right? I, 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 he, these guys are here to retrieve me. I'm not going to stand up for him. Uh, no, and the, no, wolf, the wolf says, no, I'll just leave. I'll just leave. You won't have to ever see me again. Well, th- that's... Ha- I mean, <laughs> regardless, we're not seeing you again. But uh, do you have information that this sheep uh, cannot provide us about the defenses of our uh, uh, erstwhile apparent yes. enemies? Please tell us why you should remain to be alive. <laughs> uh, or you know, yeah, conscious... Uh, unmaimed, etc., etc. Yes. And please do so quickly. We're running out of time. Yes. You, yes. Okay. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. He's in. He's in uh, a tower that's just south southwest of town. <laughs> Not that it matters. Um. Yeah. Imagine it's southwest in your mind right now, and that's the direction. Um, okay. Got it. And and uh and he's got he's got guards up front. They are, and the uh, the speak with animal spell has worn off. Oh, how nice! Cool. How convenient. Uh, <laughs> but yes, it is not a spell that's going to last forever. <laughs> so um, yes, 
that's you got now a, a whimpery wolf in front of you and uh, a very fluffy cute sheep behind you i will tell y'all uh i don't have a way to get the wolf out uh he's stuck <laughs> in there for an hour so i mean <laughs> if we just leave him here it's not like he's gonna be able to stop us yeah but perhaps he could hurt one of the innocent civilians i'll just kill him <laughs> uh for your choice if no one says anything antony just just slides the blade uh under the under yeah. the jaw into he, his throat he's not dodging anything <laughs> just yeah just kills him uh, very uh matter of factly uh <clears throat> very well so uh i suppose we have to help this sheep then i demised i'm not a fan of antony uh seymour <laughs> valentine does not care either way but yeah <laughs> holy holy what <laughs> yes to be clear i'm not a fan <laughs> <laughs> uh i am i am uh yes <laughs> So yeah, now you've got uh, you've got a sheep there who is just sort of like nudging you in the direction of southwest. Though of course you do not have to listen to him; he is a sheep. Um, he's 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 trying to, to nudge you in the direction of the uh, tower. Yes. Uh, could I get a, a turkey leg before we go? Um, he, over at the uh, at the the food stand. If you do want to approach it, there's um, there's two items there, of these at this particular place. Um, there's a, a a deep fried something called like it was called like fried delights, uh, and then there's another one that was um, a mutton leg. For mutton that leg. one's three silver and the other one's ten copper. <laughs> um, so Anthony uh, will go. He wants meat. Uh... So um, he's going to go and get the mutton, although that might offend their sheep compatriot. Um, and uh, he steps forward. Yes, uh, good man. Uh, uh, your finest leg of mutton, if you don't mind. <laughs> he, he, and, he, he, yes. And then uh, the person whose name I had, but I, now that I don't have it ready. <laughs> Anthony doesn't care. Uh, Anthony it, yeah, really they're just like, <laughs> yeah, why do, they, why do you need their name? Um, they just go ahead and you exchange the currency and they hand well, he, you he flips a he flips a platinum coin uh to to this uh to this person sorry that's all i've got uh and takes the <gasps> mutton and he, uh he hands you uh two waves it at him two mutton legs and one of the fried delights he uh he looks uh yes um, very very nice thank you uh and then um hands the fried delight to the nearest child he could find and then walks off eating the two mutton legs <laughs> uh there uh yeah we'll say that there was one that came back after everything sort of died down there oh, that was just true, sort of yeah. hiding behind and it's like okay um yeah some of the people were just they just lay low until the kerfuffle is over and then they get back the uh here you know what even we'll say the the music uh you know goes that's the that's everybody just sort of goes back and starts enjoying their fare again um and uh, a guard walks up and he goes hey how, what what happened i'm here i'm here to help i'll take care of things it, it's quite all right it's my i got this you guys you guys stand down where'd they go Clearly, you do not. They're already gone. I heard there was a bear and there were some wolves. They're, you, they're, there's some of them are over there and pieces, um, that way. And he's looking for a bear, but uh, as as you look over, you can kind of see the the bodies morphing back into human <laughs> human men. <laughs> And uh, just in in their uh, horrible heaps, and he goes, uh, oh, uh, "Looks like you guys got to take care of. Are you going to be moving uh, along here soon, by any chance?" Ups. Could use a nap. Yeah. Why don't we all just Why don't we all just cool cool down just a little? Okay? Yeah, why don't you guys just go go relax? 
Hey, you got a Just, you got a house in in the village? Do I have a house, a place that I live? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you mind if we uh, crash there? Where have oh, you been I, staying? Lovely. You, you've uh, you've uh, you've run a bed and breakfast. How, how delightful! How <laughs> droll! Yes. Uh, here you are, good man. And hands him uh, two platinum. Uh, <laughs> trying to trying to like force it into his head. There you are. We'll we'll. Uh, uh, we'll just see ourselves in. Everything's fine. Uh, okay, so as a, a public servant, he does not actually make very much money. Uh, and so why don't you make a persuasion check? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, no, I'm not bad at those, actually. Uh, and I rolled a natural 19 for a total of 24. Okay, yeah. He, he, he takes it and he just sort of like rubs the coins together and he goes, all right, you, you help protect the town from these, I was going to say beasts, but uh, I have no idea what's going on. Um, come on, come on back to my place. It's a, we'll just kind of get, get it going. It's a small house. It's not, nothing. It's, it's the type of house that if, uh, if someone gave him to uh, platinum, he'd consider letting a dangerous stranger stay with him. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. Uh, so yes, you guys can. You can. You can rest there. The sheep is sort of like uh, bawling at you intently to sort of move along, but um, eventually it sort of sees your state. Some of you were a little bit worse for the wear, and 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 he knows that it will probably be best if if everybody rests up. So he sort of resigns himself uh, to that. Do you let him? <laughs> Do you let him in the house? Yeah, I think oh, I, so. Yeah, I think uh, Optimus would try and make clear that this deal would also include a sheep. Yeah, the guy initially uh, uh, objects a little bit to having an animal in the house, but uh, he he's like, all right, all right that, it's okay. Uh, maybe for an extra two, an extra uh, a platinum? Uh, well, I suppose if you could... Uh see a way to providing some room service so it might be uh, might be agreeable uh okay sheep can stay <laughs> yeah, very good. They flicks him another uh flicks him another platinum he uh let's see i'm gonna do a dexterity check uh yeah he he goes to grab it and he drops it and he scrambles to pick it up uh, and he goes got it uh and and shows you to your your places where you can rest um and unless there's any objections, just to sort of keep things going, you rest. Um, you can take a, a long rest. Woo! Is that, yeah? Um, so oh. go ahead and do that and make any adjustments that you need. I'd like to also say that in that, in that time, uh, Optimus will say, here, just in case, and we'll hand each of them um, a healing potion, or a potion of a standard healing potion. Two, I'm sorry, two standard healing potions. Ooh, wow, thank you. Oh boy. By all means. Uh, you you hand one to Seymour, and he like looks at it, and then he holds up the bottle of um, Alchemist's Fire, and he looks at it, and there is similar red, and he's like, now hold <laughs> on a minute. I'm sure that won't be confusing. Yeah, I mean, he just puts both of them in the same backpack, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, uh -huh. Second rule I learned. Have a backup uh, utensil. I'm just lucky enough that there was one nearby. <laughs> hey -o. Here you uh, go. Do, do, do. Yep. Let's just... Uh... All right. You got it? You got it? <laughs> So are you guys good? So good. Um, Y'all rested up. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. I clicked the button. Are you good also in your actual? Uh, do you oh, have to sure. do you have to potty? Uh, and oh. and has the uh, and has the adventure so far inflicted too much trauma that you actually need to recover emotionally? <laughs> no. Okay. So I'll I'll crushed. do better. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so it's it's the morning. We'll say that, and then uh, you know the. Uh, oh, good. Did we get good room service? Can I take a moment to just change my? I forgot to do this. I think now would be a good time for me to have speak with animals. So I'm just gonna change real quick. Sure. For myself. Sure. 
Uh, go ahead and carry on. Sorry. Sorry. One other thing. All right. Um. Yeah. So you wake up, and uh, you know it's a nice morning. The room service wasn't the best, but you know, not bad. Um. There was no breakfast waiting for you. Now, if you want to be rude, you can try to take some. But uh, the guy was pretty hospitable. He's gotten up already and has started his patrol and left you in his house. Wait, Why did I alone? say that? That sounds horrible. <laughs> yeah, does he live alone? Does he um, have like a wife and kids here his, or something? No, no, no or children. His his his, or... his partner is is there. His partner is there. Okay, well, that... um, you've just heard. You don't know anything about them. You just heard that there was another person shuffling about. I think well, I think I try and shuffle Anthony out as fast as possible. Yeah, I don't if, think if, we can. <laughs> if there's if there's other people, if I mean Anthony's he, not gonna like start something. I, yeah. Um. Yes. Uh. The 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 sheep has woken up and is like nudging you to, toward the door. Um. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Which how big is the sheep? Sheep sheep size. It's Could just I... a normal size sheep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, for uh, before we to... before we get mo moving, I'd like to say that can I ritually have casted speak with animals before this point? Ten I minutes, mean, ten it minutes, sounds like it. what you would would do. Yeah. No, that's fine. I think he would be happy to be able to uh, to communicate again. So. He'll be patient. Oh yeah, we can't we can't understand the sheep all through the night. So even if he is upset about us taking a long rest, it doesn't <laughs> matter. Yeah, yeah. I think just... Anthony would have tried to use him as a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, would, he would not have allowed it. Well, come on, big game. <laughs> if, yeah. At some point in the night, you got a hoof to the face. Then. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll I will give myself one point of damage in the morning. All right. We'll say that you have completed your um, your ritual, um, and uh, so does that mean that it's? I don't know if you want to use it now or later. Save it. It's it's active for ten minutes. I just uh, ten minutes. Mm -hmm. I just okay. uh, briefly touch there, uh, just kind of touching base. So, um, is there any particular information we need to know about the defenses other than the the sentinels posted out front? Are there any secret entrances you're aware of? Um, can we walk and talk? We only have so much time for us to communicate. Fair. Let's go. Very well. All right. Follow, follow me. I am an elf after all. I am a natural leader. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, you walk, you walk out the door, and he's saying. Uh, and you, you start to walk in the direction of the tower and sort of into some into some woods. Uh, and then uh, he says, yes, about the defenses. You have actually managed to take out a lot of their main defenses uh, already. Uh, you know, and so what's still there? Um, there are some apes that are always out front on guard. Um, and... Uh, sometimes there's another bear. There's normally wolves, but you've dispatched of them. Quite handily, I might add. And they're all humans... Oh, sorry. No, please. And they're all humans who are cool with getting rid of the whole human thing to be monkeys? Well, he can change them back. He has the ability to change them back, so, you know... That's on the table for the people that have volunteered for this work. Uh, unfortunately, some have not volunteered, but they're not entrusted with guard service by any means. Oh, okay. Um, and he keeps on walking. It's it's a it's a tower made from trees, and uh, yes, it's somewhat well locked up. Typically, um. I saw my opportunity when he left the door open. That's when I ran in and I was able to grab one of the scrolls um, and then run to town. 
that doesn't happen very often. He's very paranoid. I've been this way for two years, and I finally found my chance to get out. He always keeps the wand on him. He's always on his guard. You should know. All right. <laughs> yeah. Bears don't have to pay taxes. That's right. Um. So, yeah. And uh, you continue on marching. It's like a mile away. Um, I speak with animals only lasts about 10 minutes. So at a certain point, he, I, I think he... He's back, to, he's back to buying again. Yeah. Um, all right. So, yeah, you, you approach it. And then as you get close to it, he stops being the uh, fearless leader and, and you know, tries to kind of get back behind you guys. Um, and that's sort of a cue, you know, you're probably getting, uh, getting close. Do, um, do some perception-ing. Um, I would also like to specifically tie 10 feet of rope around the middle of the sheep. Okay. Um, don't worry about it. He looks, uh, <laughs> he looks a little indignant, but, um, he allows you. Total 20. Or a total of 25. Hey. Nice. Nice. Um, Optimist is distracted by Seymour wrapping the rope around the sheep. Yeah. I wonder what he's doing that for. Yeah. Okay. So um as as you get close, I mean you can you can make out the tower. You're back Wait, far enough. Out? Yeah, you can make out with the tower. Nice. Um and this is D D. You can do whatever you want. I was gonna um, make out with the sheep. Yes. <laughs> You, you can. <laughs> All right, we no, wait. We kidding. wait for. He's, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Ant, Anthony's nobility. He's only interested in his family. It's not. It's a... <laughs> <laughs> That's preserving the bloodline. Um, All right. So then, uh, yeah, you get close. So you hear the sounds of these large figures out in front. Um, and you can actually get close enough to see them without them necessarily seeing you. You're pretty far back. You're perceiving very strongly. Delta checks. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, you're still quite a ways back. Um, I'll have them actually do their own. No, they're good. Um, and yeah, they're actually out front. There's this uh, like leathery ball. They're just sort of kicking back and forth. These three apes. Uh, they're they're fairly sizable. Um, if you get if you try to get any closer, of course I'll have you stealth check. But approximately how far? Um, if if I were to sort of estimate the distance, um, that's a good question. I mean, you're pretty far back. These are these are big big dudes. You saw the tower, so you knew not to get too close. So I'll say you're hundred feet back. Is that reasonable? You sure. Is that really far? I mean, I'm trying to think as, as a person. Could I see a hundred feet in front of me? Yeah. Yeah. You can. You can see unaided for you know a mile or more, depending on the weather. Okay. Yeah, you're really far back. This is what I'm. What I'm. Getting at. You're okay. Um, and then you can also see in this clearing the tower, which, um, I'll. I'll um, you know what? We probably don't need the festival kind of music any longer at the moment Oop. it's very festive what do you mean yeah yeah this is a festive place um all right so this tower it is as i said earlier it's made up of trees that have sort of been formed into the tower um out of like four different oak trees kind of woven together uh the lowest of the platforms is roughly you're I guess you're kind of far back to probably estimate this. We'll say you got a little bit closer. Um, the um, apes are fairly uh, distracted by their rousing game. Uh, the lowest of the platform is roughly 40 feet across, um, and it sits about 10 feet off the ground. Um, the only obvious route up is a gentle slope formed from roots and branches that connects roughly with the main path. Uh, branches curl around its base, creating a rough bowl shape around it. From where you stand, it's possible to see flowers and small trees growing around its edge. Uh, by far the largest of the three platforms is the middlest one, which looks to be around 60 feet across. 
is about 20 feet above the ground and is fully enclosed with a wall formed from twisting branches. You can see evenly spaced window-sized gaps, as well as what appears to be a door at the point closest to the garden platform connects the two. And then the final tallest platform is roughly 30 feet above the ground and is much smaller than the others. It looks to be linked to the central platform by another small slope. So there's the three are connected and it's just one to the other. And um, then scattered beneath the platforms are two small wooden huts and a large outhouse. Hmm. A pooper, you say? Uh, yes. So yeah, you see that, and then you see the three apes. And we are, you said we got closer to see that? Yeah, it'll say here. Now, you're, you're kind of like ducking behind a nearby tree, we can say, about like 50 feet up. Close. Okay, so... Um... Well, I've looking, got. Looking, I'll say that uh, the optimist will say, "Do we want to attempt to sneak in, or go in, arcane focus blazing?" <laughs> uh, well, Antony will load his uh, his crossbow uh, in in response. Uh, he's not very stealthy. You've never known him to try and sneak into anything. <laughs> you uh you load your crossbow um and like I look I look at Optimus and I'm like I don't I don't think this one's going to be going to be one of those unfortunately um and uh, he does he does the thing with like his little mechanical pack and this time it like forms up into a little ballista um and he's <laughs> like listen this is about as good as we're going to get like what's the monkey going to do throw Dirt at us. It's gonna That's make fair. Dirt. Perhaps we should charge on the count of three. Oh, I. Yeah, you, you, yeah. That sounds like a good plan to me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all charge together. <laughs> <laughs> all of us equally. <laughs> <laughs> We right. we know that that means that you will stand behind your machinery, and that's okay. Oh, thank goodness! Because I I just I just wanted you to know, Optimus, I, I I love you like my own gun, but also not really. That Sorry. may be the sweetest thing you've ever said. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Quite sweet, yes. Mm, yes. Yeah. Um, the the sheep two. headbutts you. Um and uh, to run out. If I, I if slap I'm, if the I'm sheep in the decide, face. <laughs> if That's I'm allowed fair. to, as we before we get out from the tree, I'd like to try and cast a spell on uh, on on Antony as we're as we start to run away. If that's okay, if that if I could do that outside of any sort of combat. Well, if we if we have like uh, a surprise, uh, the element of surprise here. Um, I think I would like for Antony to fire his crossbow. And then sort of like drop it and chart, uh, not literally drop, but sort of holster it and and then start running. Uh, so it's kind of open with a with a crossbow bolt. Or you do that, yeah. if I may. Yeah. I would like to use my, uh, or I would like to cast haste on you. Oh shit! Yes. Oh, Please okay. do. I will. The three, two, one, pat. As soon as he does that, the hand comes down, and the uh, and this um, this green energy just encompasses Antony for a moment, and he's got the jitters and, uh, and ready to go. Optimus hops out and with his his crossbow arm attached, and uh, just kind of holding it out, and in we run. I ch I chugged three monster energies. No, um, <laughs> sweet. So I'll fire the crossbow. How many? You said there are. Th Three, Three apes. apes? Yes. Or they remind me they're all like look similar. Like there's not like a. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you don't see like a great ape or anything. It's just okay. three very so similar apes that have swords nearby. 
I'll just fire at the nearest one. I rolled pretty well, actually. That's a 19. Yep. Um, and a f four, four piercing damage. Uh, and then I'll charge in, uh, which I guess I now have, with haste, I now have 60 feet of movement. Oh, snap. So I can yeah. close the distance completely with them then? Yes, you can. Um, yes, you can. And then I'll use that additional haste action to swing my sword at the one uh, that uh, that I hit with the uh, bolt, if I may. Yes, you may. There's a 19 to hit. Yep. And six points of damage. And then with the second attack, oh no, that's a 12. <laughs> What you you uh swung or uh, uh, your attack roll was twelve? Yeah. Um where does the tie go to again? Sorry. That so if it's if the AC is twelve, that's a hit. What did I just see? Uh yeah, R class, yeah, twelve. Yes. So it hits. Oh snap, okay. Um well that's a little better on damage. Eleven points of damage that time. Okay. Well, You've actually uh, taken out one of these apes, if you want to describe how that final blow goes. Yes. So I guess, uh, you know, he charges uh, with this new uh, green tinge, well, the extra green now, uh, blur of speed, um, draws his blade, kind of slashes it across uh, the creature's, uh, or not creature, is an ape, uh, slashes it across his chest, uh, and then kind of jams it up through the cross guard up into up into his skull uh rips it out and a roars uh a nightly roar at the other two brutal <laughs> um do do you say anything back to the uh the other the others uh to my companions no yeah. i don't think i don't think he does and antony's uh he just he wants to be out out in front um and maybe the enemy hasn't seen his companion, so he doesn't, you know, maybe... Oh, uh, you're so smart. ...get away with them not yeah. uh, being observed. And one thing I was going to mention is that you definitely got the uh, the drop on them by, you know, up, up appearing <laughs> 60 feet, basically. Oh, snap, but... Uh, Sprinting like Usain Bolt out there. Yeah, you got, <laughs> um, you got a surprise... Surprise round for these guys, so... Uh, um, the next. Oh wait, so so actually, why don't you guys just go ahead and go through the thing, and then we'll roll for your your initiative. Roll initiative, right? Yes, but you got a surprise round, so the um, Demise oh, and sorry. or uh, Seymour and Optimus can can go ahead and take an action now too. So twenty four to just hit with my normal fireball. Yep. Which is going to be uh thirteen points of fire damage. Yes, yes, you got, uh, wait, yeah, okay, yeah, you got him. All right, so, yes, you've damaged that guy. He's not looking great. You said 13? Yeah. Okay. And then 13 to hit with the ballista, uh, which I then do uh, 14 points of force damage with. Okay. Yeah, you've knocked out this ape as well. Uh, um... Yeah, I, 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 I always allow the uh, the knockout blow to be described if you like. No, I was just gonna say, and then afterwards, the the ballista sort of like wraps back up into a smaller portable size, and I like pick it up and take it with me. We <laughs> don't have to, I do not have to describe the gruesome ape butchery that's going on. <laughs> he says. Anthony. He says, "No, my children. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to see them off to college." <laughs> I was supposed to walk my daughter down the aisle. No. <laughs> what about the other one? Uh, not, not his, not her father. So he can't do it. <laughs> uh, okay. So then, uh, Optimus. What do you want? Um, I did use my, uh, I did use an action to cast haste. I don't know if that would be. If we were, we'll that, was, that was before. I think it's okay. I think you can take your action. All right. Um, well, um, he's just going to, with his with his crossbow arm, 
So he he pulls out his arm and and kind of like from the uh, from the metal, some flaps open up, and a, a crossbow is lovingly jammed in there, and he just kind of go ahead and and fires it at the uh, the one eight. Uh, Sixteen to hit. Where's my eight? There they are. Sixteen. Yes, that hits. Okay. Oh, uh, that is a mere four points of piercing damage. Okay. You. Good job. Um, <laughs> and also, and also, um, as this is as even though uh, even though my compatriot ran out guns blazing, um. Optimus is kind of just strolling forward and fires off and just lefty da da just walking forward towards this this house. Okay. All right, that's good. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and... Let's see here. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll. I rolled for these guys. I got a natural one for a total of two on my initiative. 17 for me. And 20 more for Seymour. You say 20? No. Yep, I said I said 20 more. I meant you to say 21. <laughs> <laughs> That's now 20 more. Canonically, 21 is 20 more than yeah. one. Uh, that was... Uh, okay. So, uh, then at the top of the order is uh, Seymour. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm really sorry. I wish they had been ruder apes. I did not realize they were going to university and <laughs> had a full life yeah. ahead of them. But unfortunately, um, yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the. So I rolled one. a one. <laughs> Yay! So it's gonna hit me, right? <laughs> it just misses. Uh, what what okay. were you uh, What were you doing? Uh, this was this was my normal my normal arcane focus. Okay. Um. um yeah. Uh. Baron, make a dexterity saving throw. Saving throw. Okay. Because I can use my shield's AC bonus uh, to add to that. I like I like when critical fails have some repercussions. So I got a total of sixteen. Okay. Yeah, you, it, it it hits sort of like right at your feet. You put you you pull one of your feet up just in time. Okay. Yeah, I do a little dance. <laughs> yes. Um. All right. So that was. Optimus. Oh, oh, oh sorry. sorry. Yeah, if you I do. Some. I do have a bonus action with the do with it. the ballista. Sorry. Yeah. Um, which super fast? Oh no. Uh. Oh wait, twelve to hit. Yeah. What did I say? The eight with twelve, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Uh. Nine points of force damage. Where's my other eight? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's still he's still up and about. But that he, is it for me. It's, uh, he's not happy. Um, all right. So next in the in the order is you see somebody uh, open up the door in the tower, um, and uh, an older gentleman, probably about in his fifties or so, steps outside, and he's like, he's surveying the area. I actually, want to see how how well he does. Okay, he he sees what's going on at the base of the tower, and he's just kind of hollers and says what have you done um and get me out get get my my big boy sheet out uh, big boy sheet big boy sheet yeah i'm a big boy and i keep track of these things you're on your big boy sheet i'm just i'm just <laughs> i'm just a big boy now he's not he's not big he's an average size he he's an average size uh Human men. Uh, anyway, I've never um, been more suspicious of someone being described as a normal human man before. Yeah. In my life. <laughs> <laughs> and he transforms into no, uh, no. an eldritch god. <laughs> uh, yeah. So he he sees uh the what do you call it that last ape 
and does uh oh yeah enlarge on him oh snap crackle and pop Yeep. so he doubles in size that guy that's there um and then comes after him oh that the 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 big ape man who looks over at baron and he does a sword attack was I in melee with him already, or does he have to close to hit me? Well, they were all fairly close. Um, okay. They were just sort of gently kicking the ball around. Is I mean, the ball still there? Yeah. Okay. He rolled a 17 to attack. My armor class is 18, so he misses. I can right. block he, him. He whiffs. Oh, yeah, he will say you carried that with your shield or something with my shield yeah good um what well, i need to check one other thing here with the uh the enlarged thing actually um, my ac's 20 because of my haste okay I yeah you're that. you're great so i move lightning fast like a power ranger and knock it out of the way okay so then uh, after that aos you uh baron you get to take an action. Oh, good. So, what do I got here? Um, so this guy, so this ape is now how tall compared to me? Is he? Mo- compared to you? Uh, yeah, I'm not uh, taller than me. An, an ape that's double in size. He's for sure taller than you. Like, no question. Okay. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna try and uh, chop at his legs, I guess, with my with my blade. Okay, get him. He has no compunctions about killing apes, whether they be human or otherwise. Uh, that's a <laughs> 19 to hit. Yeah. Oh, just a natural one on damage, so a total of five slashing damage on his first attack. Okay. Second attack. Uh, of his uh, of a fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah, it it hits. It hits. Okay. Uh, oh, a little better. Eleven points of damage that time. Um, and I've got my haste, so I think I'm just gonna keep hacking away at this guy. So I'm trying to like chop his leg off, basically. I guess at this point. Yeah. <clears throat> so just keep hacking. Uh, yeah, that'll hit 22 uh, for eight points of damage. And my second attack on the haste is another 22 to hit. You, weird. Uh, yeah, with with that attack, you do heal him. Oh, okay, cool. So uh, how gruesome, how, how much can I gross to my stout? So I uh, chop off. Uh, chop off his leg, uh, and uh, and he he kind of collapses with the force, and his head cracks on the ground. Uh, the sickening crack, and his I don't know his brains who's out, whatever. <laughs> and then uh, and then you kick the uh, okay. the leather ball out. <laughs> where, where, where's, where's this ape's parents? Where is this person's uh, family waiting uh, on screen? <laughs> This one just got engaged. <laughs> Finally, uh, yeah. So. That's lovely. I, that's that's beautiful. I will, I will marry her on his behalf then. <laughs> uh, all right. So then that was you. All right. So you've got those three. Well, I've got my movement as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Go how ahead. far am I from the from this dude who just made this ape giant? Okay. So you're not too far from the base. Because that's the uh, the apes were near the base of that first platform, so it's three platforms. Um, now the one just emer- that guy emerged out of the uh, second platform. So okay. you've got I don't know you, you, the the platform itself. What did I say the first one was was like ten feet up. Uh, so yeah, you got it. There's like a winding uh, root path up there. So you, you're looking at about twenty or so feet to get up to that second platform and then approximately another to get to the man that came out. And where's the where's the poop hut related to me? The poop hut? 
Um, is that on this platform? Let me. It's not. It's not on the platform. It's down at one of the bases. Oh, um, okay. It's All actually right. really close to it. Uh, and I haven't seen or heard anything. No, no sounds of exertion. Do uh, then. do a uh, investigation if that's what you want to do. Sure. I mean, whatever you want. Uh, I mean, if you're actively uh, sort well, of like, I rolled a natural mm -hmm. one, so you okay. know. Um. Yeah, you you don't hear anything. All right, so then um, I will. Let's see, haste lasts for a minute, right? So I've got two. This will be my second round mm -hmm. with it. Uh, so I'm gonna take all sixty feet and try and get as close to the figure that emerged and cast that spell as I can. Okay. Yeah, you you can because you said you had sixty feet. You can reach it. Yeah. So I'm gonna get up in his up in his grill so he can smell my my lovely breath. Gross. Um. It's, okay. it's great. It's got a little mutton, but you know he he has good dental hygiene. Sure. That's good. You have you, know, you have got those orky teeth, but they're so shiny. His people brush his teeth for him. He's he's great. <laughs> That's beautiful. What are you What are you gonna do to this gentleman? Well, I'm out of actions, so that's all I can do is just get up to yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, you get uh, up in this girl. Um. Okay. Actually, let me make sure that's the case. Yeah. No, that's all I can. I don't have any fun stuff I can do. Yeah. That's it. Do you not get action surge yet? <laughs> I do have action surge, but I'm holding it in the back pocket. Yeah, I'm reticent until I know. That this is the be the big bad. Totally fair. Um, okay. I think that me, Fairman, I think that, but I don't know that Antony has put that together. Yeah, uh, that's okay. Well, um, that was just you. That was you. Okay, so Seymour. Okay. It's all you. I have. I'm gonna take out a pair of manacles. Um, and here's the thing: I am still the full sixty feet away. Um, but I'm going to cast Catapult on the Manacles to beam this guy as fast as possible with the Manacles and then have them fall to the floor next to him, um, depending on how things go. Um, so that is that is mechanically that is mechanically what is happening. So you're trying to hit, um, you're just, trying to hit him with the Manacles? Yeah. yeah. That is awesome. Just for, you know the other people watching what are manacles yeah for everybody else so that, um you know when you when you exercise safe practices and you have a safe word they can be no sorry um they're just handcuffs, <laughs> but a little bit a little bit bulkier um, okay yeah so like the so the the, the metagame narrative here that i'm trying to avoid is um we don't know who this guy is Antony is right there by using the manacles and getting them right next to him. If Antony so chose, he could restrain this man. I'm thinking. Um, what I'm actually doing is I'm using magic to propel manacles at incredible speeds. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, smart thinking. Which I am casting at first level. I'm not bothering to do second. So he makes a dexterity saving throw. Um, he's trying to beat a 16. His dex, his dex. Which wizards Hold can be? Thirteen. Okay, yeah, he's uh, he failed the check. Oh, sweet. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, eighteen points of bludgeoning damage. Ooh boy! And the manacles fall to the ground. Did you say eighteen? Wink. Yes. Okay. Yes. He goes, what the hell? <laughs> um, after you is Optimus. All right. Um, I'm still relatively far away, but I'd like to get in the mix uh, and climb up there. So I'm going to use my action as well as my movement speed to make my way up and, uh, and stand kind of oh, back God. behind my buddy, Anthony. And that'll be it for my turn. Okay. Um, did you did you do any move in Seymour? 
Would you hang back? Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Uh, if I may, uh, my apologies. I'd like to use my bonus action to cast uh, Flame Blade. Okay. And so I'm going to uh, going to pull out my my sword for flavor. I'm gonna uh, have the sword pop Spicy. out, and then it's gonna catch fire, and then uh, he's gonna stand there waiting to attack, and that's it. Noise. I'll drink to that. I already finished my drink. Very slow. Um, all right, so it is now the the man's turn, uh, and as he he's uh, been surveying, he's like, "Is that shine bright? I'm gonna get you, you walking pork chop, pork chop, mutton chop. Maybe it's better. Yes, mutton is better. Yes." Um, this is what see, this is why you're still an apprentice. Um oh. the uh he casts first um what was it? Uh Thunder Wave. Oh um like uh dexterity. So uh each creature in a fifteen foot Con. cube uh is a constitution saving through. Con. Oh I'm I'm so oh. okay with that. It's a, yeah. it's a 19 for me. 17. Okay, that's right. You're up there. Um. Oh, so is that uh, his his constitution that I'm looking at? Hey, you want to look at his spell save DC. Okay. Okay, yeah. 14. So, you are good? You uh, let's see here. On a on a. Do you take any? Okay, so on a successful save. You take half damage, but aren't pushed back. What? Uh, seven. Am I supposed to add something to that with a spell? Sorry. No, not no, not one. okay. Unless just, it's unless it's specified. Seven. Um. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Just seven. seven. No, I'll take that. All right. Um. And on his uh bonus action. He, uh... Wait. So did, so do we... Because we saved, we take half, or is that, that is half? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're right. Um, half. Of, of seven. Okay. Which is... Round it down. Is it yeah, down? Okay. Three. Um, yeah. He, he goes inside and sh slams the door shut. Do I... And, uh, but he, um, he... Let's see here. Slamming a door isn't necessarily a bonus action, is it? It could be, if you... It's up to you. But would I potentially... Would I be able to try and hit him with an opportunity attack? Or is he it's still... not running past you. No, he's um, not. He is going to cast... Um, where did it go? Did I not write it down? Scoozy! I've never heard of that Exp spell before. Oh, Expeditious Retreat. There it is, there it is. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's what a baby. <laughs> Gross. So he casts that. Closes what the door. a bubble blowing baby over he, there. You, you hear, <laughs> yeah, you hear the the door lock. But uh, lock. Yeah. Lock. But I'm oh, not quick I'm not point worried. of order, by the way. Uh, sorry, I just realized that flame blade is also concentration, which means that my haste ended. So Fairman, or, I'm sorry, Anthony, on your next turn, I don't think you can take an action. I'm stunned. Right. Oh snap! I, so, uh, if you if you're okay with it, I I think Optimus would have known that, mm -hmm. uh, and I and having known that, I probably wouldn't have cast Flame Blade for that. So up the up to you. Uh, That's Blade. fine. That's fine. Okay. No Flame Blade. All right. It All looked right. cool though. It looked like super cool. You guys are like, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, Yo, Optimus is like, going for his flame blade technique. You see this? <laughs> you know, I think he's going to do it. Oh, he didn't do it. I thought for sure he was going to flame blade, but he didn't do it. Very disappointing. Um, it and, didn't work. It's, he needs a little blue pill to be able yeah. to flame blade. Uh, Baron. <laughs> um, all right, so I guess I'm looking at uh, right into the face of a closed door, eh? Yes. Um... Well, you know, he's not a subtle person. 
uh, is is Antony. So um, I think he will uh, quickly sheathe his sword, grab the halberd off of his back, and try and hack the door down. Okay. Yeah. Try and hack it. So with my attack, I rolled an 18 to hit the door. Yes. Okay, and oh, 14 points of damage. Um, we're doing a, a strength. Um, uh, I'm just trying check. to break it. All right, well, I'll take that that first roll anyway. Um, that is enough to break the door. Oh, OK, sweet. Um, uh, well, let me think here. So. Nice uh, door, punk. <laughs> right? What do I see, I guess, as the door shatters? Okay. Is, is yeah. he, he's not, he's not back, uh, like standing behind it, bracing it or something like this, right? Nope. He, no, he, he did his expeditious retreat. So he, he ran, he, you know, get some okay. distance. Um, when you look inside and you don't see him, um, there are, there's three sections. There's like a dining room area, an office area, and then just sort of, um, it's like a, a general space, um, you know, all rustic looking, um, you know, there's walls of, of tomes and scrolls and things like that. Um, but there's there's nobody in here uh, that you could see at the moment. And then then you see that there's also that third platform. You can see a door that also leads or oh, actually a hallway that leads down down there. Okay, well, if I'm still hasted, I guess I'll just sort of smack as I as I walk through a walk. I'll walk in and use my second a attack on just whatever the first thing that I see is like it, it completely irrelevant if it's an effectual hit or not. He's just he's just going to carry through the momentum and smash something um, and then I guess move into the room and try and gauge but i don't think he would like sprint in mm -hmm. not knowing the surroundings so i think he'd move in uh and use oh no i can't use my other hasted action for anything but an attack so i guess he'll just move in gingerly to like the center of the room and, and sort of take the measure okay yeah there's it's sort of the the round platform is sort of split uh, down the middle and you're in the sort of larger area and you can see through a doorway into sort of an, an office space um and in there you don't necessarily see anybody i mean you have enough uh, movement action if you want to look in there in like the hallway in that next in that next room over that is also connected to that that hallway um yeah i think he would do that okay yeah he's getting pretty far away from his teammates but he's, yes he's pretty arrogant so <laughs> you are you are you're in an office space right now and you see um various books on the wall probably not unlike what you see in my back oh wait you're looking probably at discord and it's all green it's yeah, books. Yeah. <laughs> and um and 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 scrolls um and uh yeah and then you see that hallway there's not a door attached to it it's just a straight shot uh into it but the angle that you're in you can't really see down the hallway mm, okay um then uh i'll just call back to my uh to my teammates uh oh, the powers turned tail and fled <laughs> we'll have to pursue him deeper into the tower. Uh, and I guess ready. And he has no comprehension that haste has a timer on it and that he's due to feel like garbage when it's up. <laughs> so he would just sort of position himself defensively and wait. Um, then it's uh, Seymour. Uh, I just spent my entire turn getting to where Optimus Primal is. <laughs> um... I do think there's probably like a, a little bit of um, like I, I obviously would if you allow me scoop up to pick up my map scoop down to pick up my manacles um, and then I'm also like uh, did you Optimus did you hear what he said to the sheep just now 
I believe he called him an apprentice. Which doesn't sound like he's the master wizard, does it? And we both, no, I, like, I, I look over. I do yeah. want to make sure that I clarify in case I, um, w- when, when I was talking about that he used an apprentice, it was the sheep that was talking. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I see. Okay. Uh, my conspiracy theory is immediately revoked, and I pick up the manacles and I go, good job, Optimus, instead. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, proceeding on? Yeah, that's that's my turn. I, I don't know if we're staying in turn order, or... Um, yes. For the moment. Um, let's see. I had... Yeah, Optimus, you're, you're up. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think uh, Optimus is going to barrel through the next room and, and not have the foresight of thought to uh, to not to like worry about whether or not there's anything in the room. He's just going to kind of barrel past as, as, as best he can and, and continue on down the hallway as far as his movement will allow and action will allow. Yeah. Okay. Then um, if you if you are actually running about uh, how much movement speed, how much movement do you have? 30 or something? Uh, 30, and I'd, I'd, I would use my uh, action, so that would be a total of 60. Okay. So if you do, then you can get... You, you can... If you moved towards Fairman, um, if that was your uh, goal, then you can get to him and then have enough movement to get at to the, the entrance or actually be probably in the hallway leading to that final platform. Yeah, I think it would just continue on until he has any reason to stop. Okay. So, you do that. You run in, and you see the same things that Fairman sees, probably more in a blur because of your um, speedy movement. He's running, yeah. Um, and, and you look down the hall, and you can see the, uh, the other wizard uh, stand in there. And he has... Uh, he's brandished for the first time. He's actually pulled out uh, the wand um, and you can see it doesn't look particularly um, you know like wow this is a, a crazy looking wand but it is fairly ornate but natural looking and um, he looks at you um, for just a moment because he's up next in the uh, in the order and you know he's looking around the room and he casts a spell um, and you see the the wand uh, make a an arcana check. You're you're magically inclined, so let's see if you eighteen. Okay. When you see him cast the spell, it the wand reacts in a way that you would say is not typical. This wand has been uh, modified, and uh, and it's sort of like crackles a little bit. All the all the magic isn't going out of it. Some of it's being expended and lost due to something that's happened to the wand. Uh, so you, you you pick up on that, but he casts the spell um, at the bed and the bed starts changing and twisting and uh, it starts to form into you can see a creature um, and then from the, the the bedding, it like shoots out and these big wings made of basically bed sheets um, just protrude out and and it grows and bursts the low roof off the top of it uh, of the room that they're in and and you see that this dragon has formed. It's of a, a malformed wood and uh, sheets for wings and a beautiful little fluffy pillow at the edge of its tail <laughs> um <laughs> and uh it it roars in your direction uh, uh mr optimus uh let's see here and i'm going to stick him into the order Loop. did i hear that roar is it like am i close enough yes and uh, Seymour heard the roar too, and he saw the roof explode off of the top of that room. Uh, and he can see sort oh, of the, the nice top. Nice knowing him. 
And I, yeah, <laughs> you can see the the top of the uh, the dragon there. Uh, bing, 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 bang. Uh, okay, so that was that was his turn. He used his movement to to hop onto the back of the uh, dragon. His mother. Okay. Um. Let's see. So it's a bear. It's a bear. Baron. Oh, oh. It's a bear. Okay, so um. <laughs> I guess I'll use whatever movement necessary to get into the room. Yeah, um, you ha you should have enough, especially if you still have you still have haste on you. I'm still hasted, yeah. So I've got sixty feet just with my movement. Uh, so this dude has gotten up on the back of the bed dragon thing. Yes. So, uh, I wouldn't necessarily be able to get to him. Is that is that fair to assert or assume? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you could get close to him, um, but yeah, it is a large dragon. Does it say size? Um, yeah, I don't know that you'd be able to take a swing at him directly. So I think then that Antony is going to, uh, having heard this, he probably would have dropped his halberd, gone back to his sword. Uh, and he'll try and hack at the bedsheet wings, the closest of those. Okay, um, yeah, go ahead and make an attack try and, there. Try and hit him there. A natural 19 for a total of 26, uh, yep. which I'm hoping hits, or yes, otherwise we're does. in big trouble. It does. Um, yeah. <laughs> six, six points of damage. Um, my next attack is just a 13. I imagine that doesn't hit. Did you say 13? A 13 no. to hit. Okay. Um, and then I'll use my hasted attack. I've rolled a natural one. So. <laughs> what were you using? I'm just trying to chop the bed sheets up with my sword. Okay. When you, yeah, you, you, you took a, a swipe at the sheets and, and you, you know, made purchase. Got a, You got a bit of a rip in there. Um, but its reaction to that, of course, was just to just to flail, knocking your sword out of your hand. So you have dropped your sword. Okay. Um, then, well, I'm already in the midst of an attack action. Would I be able to try and punch the sheets, the dragon, with my second... I'll let you make an attack if, if you want there. I rolled a natural 18 for a total of 25. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you do punch the sheet. What's What What would the damage be? The damage One. would be five points of bludgeoning damage because I have a plus four to strength. Sorry, okay. nope, yep. Um, did you say five? It would be five it, it, punching. It, 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 take, it takes half that. Okay, all right, I'll take that. That was better than I expected. Um, yeah. <laughs> Ain't that some sheet? Ain't that some oh! sheet? Uh, okay. I'm a father, so these dad jokes are permitted. I just yeah, need everyone to know. It's okay. They're not more than permitted, they're obligatory. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then, let's see, my bonus. No, I don't think... Uh, Boy, it would be a shame to use my action surge just to pick up my sword, wouldn't it? Uh, so yeah, so I, I guess... How close am I to uh, to Optimus? Optimus? Uh, he was last at the end of the hallway, right? So... Mm -hmm. Alright, so so not he's not like next to me. Nah, he's, he's, uh, he's probably around 15 feet away. Alright, then that's it. That's my, that's my move. Alright, it is Seymour. Okay, I cannot see what happened, just that the roof exploded off of this room. Yeah, and you can kind of make out uh, the top part of the, the dragon, though. Okay. Well, you're down at quite an angle. You might you actually might not see. You just if know that I something look, has erupted in there. If I look up, can I see the roof of the building within 30 feet of me? The, uh, uh, the room that okay. they're in? Yeah, so not the busted up portion, but a mm -hmm. portion that's closer to me. Is yeah, there you one can within see it. 30 feet? Sure, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
I'm gonna cast Misty Step on myself. Um, hey. So I turn into, like, I, I probably like press another dial on the vest or something. I <laughs> puff into a, a smoke cloud, basically, uh, and then just go up to the roof and then reappear there, uh, which is unfortunately my spell. But do you still have the ballista? <laughs> um, and I think I think I sort of shout down to my companions. I'm like, we're going for the man or the mach mach machine dragon? What is this? <laughs> we're going for the man or the dragon? Yes. Sounds Got right. It. <laughs> uh, I shoot. I shoot at the wizard on the back. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, I d I'm pretty sure it won't matter, but I do have spell snipers, so if he is getting any cover from the dragon, I'm just ignoring it. Okay. Nice. Um, uh, uh, 14 to hit? It does. It hits him. Sweet. He is going to take 15 points of force damage. Rookie mistake. Sweet. Cast mage armor. <laughs> How much did you say? A uh, four... Uh, 15. Yep. It's Bed's turn. Uh, and the Bed Dragon rears back its head and, you know, it starts to roar and then instead of fire, what you see emerging from its mouth is just a hail of splinters. Um, oh. and so, let's see. That's gonna... Go ahead and roll. Oh, well, no. Let me let me roll. No. Each creature in that area, uh, which should be both you and uh, um, Baron and Primal, because I kind of imagine Seymour popping up in like. I mean, it's up and behind it. I I think. Yeah. Um, the other two are in front, and um, each creature in that area must make a DC 13 Dex save. A little peek behind the curtain, Tonka explicitly said, Let's do theater of the mind. Don't make things too complicated. <laughs> and I said, I'm going to teleport onto a roof somewhere. So sorry, Tonka. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a 12. Optimus. I'm sorry, it was, uh, you said con? Uh, dexterity. Dex. Dex. Sorry, my apologies. Uh, 13. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> this might be easier. Oh. Roll. What is it? Will this work? Uh, no. Well. <laughs> All right. Y'all, I gotta do. I gotta do math. Jimmy now. Cricket. <laughs> now, yeah. Now you can get a little peek there. Oh. oh man. One Holy. more. Holy. Yeah. Oh boy. It's been nice knowing the two of you. With my shield master feat, if I'd succeeded, I could have taken no damage on it. 32, oh, no. 32 points. 32. All oh, right, that was a good hit. Oh, yeah, that's that's tough. Did um, um did you did I you both to fail it? Concentration check yeah. to see if I lose my my haste or if uh if, if Anthony loses haste. So uh, I said it was 32. Yeah. Yep. I gotta beat a 16. Yeah, it's not a given. Oh, hey, oh, and it's got advantage anyway. Yeah, that's I maintain. Woo! Nice. I do like the idea that you're being showered with like a rain cloud of splinters and you're like, no, Anthony needs to go fast. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the bed. So Optimus gets to do a thing. Okay. Um, Optimus at this point, uh, after after getting that, that hail of all types of, of things uh, is going to like, of course, change color. Eyes change color for a moment as he shields and takes all the damage and says, Do you have a permit for that? And then it's going to do, um, 
is going to wheel, pull back and throw forth a uh, an ice knife at second level right at the wizard. Okay. So make a... Uh, oh, I have to do an attack roll first. Yeah, yeah, okay. That is not very good. That's only a nine to hit. No. Uh, however, it's at second level, so must make a dexterity saving throw, and I still might be able to do some damage as oh. the ice knife explodes next to it. Uh, let's see here. Oh, what? and actually, this would also catch... My apologies. This would catch both the mage and the dragon. Okay. I... So they both need to make deck saves. So the wizard got a 12. That fails. Dragon got nat 20, baby. Nice. That's a total of uh, 10 points of cold damage. He hates cold. Um, and, and that only applies to the, uh, the the failure. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Good. Yeah, he's starting to look a little worse for wear. Um, but it is okay. his turn. Um, um, yeah. Do you have something else? Prior to, I just want to, um, as a, uh, as my bonus action. Oh, wait, um, I can't remember this. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can, healing word is a bonus action. I'm pretty sure I can still use that if I already cast a spell this round. Does anyone, is that, is that right? Sound right to you guys? I, I see yeah. nodding of people that know more than me, so. You, I as mean, long as this raw rules is written, it's supposed to be one spell per turn, so you can oh, cast really? a cantrip in a spell, but okay. DMs have flexed that, so it is entirely up to Tonka's discretion. No, no, it's fine. All right. Well, oh, okay. Well, then, I, then, uh, it's just, it's just a little healing word. I want to, I want to, I want to, Cheer on my buddy, uh, my buddy Anthony. You can, you can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> um, so you're gonna get back. Um, that's five points. Something hey, that could be the difference. Yeah. yeah. Could be. Um, and that's it for for Optimus. Okay. Um. Then we'll have, yeah. Let's do um, uh, the uh, the the wizard say says from the bed. It's like, why are you endangering yourselves for some sheep you don't even know? And he casts a ray of frost on uh, who's who's right up. Uh, yeah. Uh, Baron, he casts Ray of Frost on you. Does, uh, no, no, actually, I know you're, it does not hit. Is there a fail thing on there? No. Okay. You're good. It just, uh, you get a cool breeze, Patch your face. You're a little <laughs> refreshed uh, from the heat of battle. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that's Pretty nice. Generous. Yeah. Um, that's the, that's the end. Um, and next is Baron. Okay. So, uh, as part of my action, I can pick up my, my weapon. Okay. Uh, I was checking the, checking the rules on that. So I didn't know if I'd use one of my actions. So I'm just going to start wailing, uh, here um on uh, on this on this bed mm -hmm. so i'm just gonna start rolling like crazy so my first attack does a 25 to hit um yes uh that's 11 points of damage the oh. second oh that's just a 14 to hit that um hit? uh no the, the bed okay my hasted attack a natural 20. Oh boy, does I, it. Yes. All right, so hold on. I've got a thing for that as well. I've got... Uh, oh, because you're, cause you're a definite human. Because I am 100% a human, I can roll an extra die. So I get to roll three d8s. So six and seven is 13 plus four. Uh, so 17 points of damage on the critical. Oh boy. 
And then my second attack of the hasted action. Wow, natural 18. <laughs> yeah. Uh, plus seven, so, uh, and then my damage on that is eight. And then, okay. I'm gonna use my action, sir. <laughs> and keep on yes. wailing. <laughs> keep on wailing on him. Okay, that's a natural eight for a total of 15. Does that hit? Um, no. Okay. Uh, and then my last attack, that's cocked. Uh, 19? Does 19 hit? Yes. Alright, 16. 16. Six points of damage. I wish it was 16. Six, Six. points of damage. So just, break, just hacking like a like a crazed yeah. lumberjack. You're going wild on this thing and just like splinters of pieces of wood just go flying and you're just going crazy. Uh, but it's still, it's still upright and it looks angry. Um, you can well, tell I'm by gonna, its wooden face. I'm going to use my second wind then, my bonus action, and recover a few hit points. And that's it. That's all I got. Okay. Used that's, everything. Oh, that's it? <laughs> <laughs> and everything I can. <laughs> uh, okay, so then that brings us back to Seymour. Okay, I'm going to expend a second level spell slot for Scorching Ray. Um, nice. Which... Uh, this is this is the big gun, friend. First attack is going to be a uh, seventeen to hit the wizard on the back. Yes, that's yeah, that okay. hits the wizard. He's gonna take uh, thirteen points of fire damage from the first one. Okay, and and then... uh, and, and that that knocks him off of the uh, of the dragon. He's sort of like falls back and and rolls off and is uh as far as you can tell he looks pretty much knocked out does the bed dragon look like it is starting to disintegrate does uh oh i see. <laughs> um it's it's still there and uh it's unhappy okay uh, yeah I, it did not I, ask I do, to be born into this world of suffering <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do the thing oh, where I like I. Not its family. The bed. Does it have little little twin size or what? Yeah, it still has hopes and dreams. It's up and kicking. It's got a no. Guitar <laughs> waiting at home. <laughs> uh, with the other two rays, then I redirect them from the wizard onto the dragon. Yes. Um, which is going to be. Oh no, 14 to hit, which I think misses. Uh, yeah, that, that misses. Okay. That's for, you do one for each of those, or is it mm -hmm. for both of them? I have to do one per ray, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, then you and can... then fif oh, 15? 15 to hit for the final one. No, I was excited about that, but no. Oh, no! <laughs> yep, I, I hit the wizard, I knock him down, I do the cool pistol <laughs> twirl thing that we were talking about, I fire off two more at the dragon. Uh, it just absorbs them. the small the small uh, target you got it the big one <laughs> somehow <laughs> listen it was just not challenging enough i didn't feel the the pressure yeah. to perform <laughs> i get that uh okay so it is it is bed's turn a bed dragon uh and he is going to he's going to do a bite okay do a bite. he's going to he's going to do a chomp uh, he's going to turn turn around and chomp up at uh, at Seymour because of the flyer man. Yeah, rude. it's real rude. Um, let's see. Listen. Ooh. Okay. Oh wait a minute. No. Yeah. Okay. It's a nineteen. So mm. that should hit, right? Normally, yes. But oh. Seymour slams an emergency button on his thing and a small magical shield of energy comes up <laughs> and his bite is uh, deflected. Okay, sweet. I love it. Yeah, it tries to take a bite and it's like, Arr! that's what it, that's what the dragon sounds like. Now you know. Um, oh. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Wait, no, no, I don't want to kill you anymore. I'm <laughs> just kidding. And they want to kill him more, weirdly? <laughs> Uh, let's see here. So then, it's it's Optimus now. 
All right. Um, Optimus is is re- actually uh, Optimus would look first to see how is Antony looking as far as like uh, beat up, looking okay. He's um he's doing all right actually, better than better than half. I mean, he's got you know lots of little cuts and splinters on him, but he's still he's still fighting fit. Okay. Optimus is going to take this moment to be selfish, and uh, and because he's about to fall to the ground in a moment, uh, and cast Cure Wounds at second level on himself. Yep. So. Good choice. Position, heal thyself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's it for my turn, so I got back uh, 13 points. Nice. Um, all right. That's right. It's, uh, it's Baron. Yeah. All right, so is the dragon, the bed dragon, is it between me and the wizard? Yeah, because he rolled off of the back of it. All right, so I don't have a clear path to approach the wizard then. Not, not unless you're going to get try to get past the dragon. Um... Yeah, you know, I think what Anthony would want to do is get to the wizard uh, and try and extricate the hand holding the wand. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Yeah, you're gonna try and get past the dragon. Yeah, I think so. Okay, here you go. Let's do what my. Do oh I... man. Um. It's no, that's not gonna wait. Is it? AC's 20. No. Okay. <laughs> he does not get you. He definitely tries to take a, a chompy bite at you, but he, he misses. Okay. So, then... <clears throat> um, I'm going to try and chop his hand off. So... Uh, I'll tell you that, um, from, from as far as you can tell, he's either unconscious or dead. <laughs> That's fine. I just want to be on the safe side. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess... <laughs> well, make an attack awesome. for... Make it's an attack really for... on brand, Anthony. I'm, I'm just, just saying. Yeah, this is... Been, <laughs> been it's been a theme. It's a theme for him. Yeah, go ahead. We're make... the good guys. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Well, my attack roll is a 14. Um, yeah, I mean... He's... I'm, I'm gonna say that he's not. Yeah, that 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 hit. Actually, okay. hit anyway. So 10, 10 points of damage, I guess, if we're still doing that. Yeah, yeah that's that's definitely enough to take his hand off. All right. <clears throat> um, so then, rather than taking a second action, I'll kick the wand as far as I can away from him. Yeah. And... Or and his hand, if he's still gripping it, I don't know how how it came off yeah and as far as you can tell the when you did that there was no reaction from him it's pretty clear to you there now that you're up on him that that you have killed him okay cool, cool. so then i'm going to use my hasted attack action on the the dragon then okay i feel like the, the danger has passed there um okay well that was a natural two so i don't think a nine is gonna hit a nine for the okay. dragon no and uh, 16. Yeah. Hit? Yes. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just I'm just trying to remember the whole tie thing. Oh, yes. Yes. If his AC is 16, then it'll hit. So that's yeah. uh, 12 points of damage to the dragon. The bed. Okay. Calling it a dragon makes us feel way more badass. Don't refer yeah. to it as a bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a dragon. Um, provided the creature is willing I mean, if it makes you feel better, it's okay. definitely a king size. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. Um, and yeah, I mean, I guess that's all I got. Uh, that's all. It's hey, maybe that's just good stuff. Maybe just like you know, step on the step on the wizard ac- uh, the the blood pile accidentally. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, you do that. Um, see more. I realized I should have done this earlier. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do like a thing where I 
spin the barrel on my uh, on my arcane foci, um, and I'm just going to like shoot a canister that like explodes into confetti. Um, can you make the bed dragon do a dexterity saving throw? <laughs> yes. Uh, all right. Uh, thirteen. Okay. It's not as exciting as some of the other stuff I've done, but it is now covered in fairy fire, so we all have advantage on our attacks against it. That's right. huge. Um, yeah, which I realized I should have done earlier. It can't like if it does go invisible, there's no benefits there, but I don't think that'll become relevant. So. Yeah. Uh, yes. And then with my bonus action, ballista time. Boom, baby. Good thing I have advantage. <laughs> I tactfully shoot around it to scare it. Ah. Um, it's an assertion of my dominance that I don't need to hit it. Really? Yeah, yeah. it's uh, it doesn't take it that way. Strangely enough. <laughs> what? Yeah, I know. It's weird. But yeah, that's my turn. Uh, okay, it's it's bed's turn, and uh, bed's gonna try for another bite at you. See more. Oh boy, that's that's a nat twenty for Seymour. Uh, Seymour bite. Mm. Um, and though he's not within five feet of me, right? He's like on a roof. Yeah, he's he, as far as I know, he's still up on the roof. Up Shit. on the roof. <laughs> um, and Sorry. so okay. So then, what do we normally do when we're when we're doubling damage? Do we do double roll? Like you roll, roll the dice extra. Yeah. Okay extra dice so if it's like you know 2d10 it would be 4d10 or whatever it is more dice is more fun mm -hmm. well uh, as and... long as uh, it's not the breath attack i'm happy yeah it's not the breath attack. yeah it takes a lot of work <laughs> y'all y'all took the the battle <laughs> <laughs> uh what was that oh boy um Oh boy, he says. We're about to kill Seymour. I mean, it would be very impressive. Not that I'm hardy, but um, I have not taken a single hit. So this is, this is my death reward. <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? Let's see. Okay, 30, 32 with that crit. Wow. No, you know what? You almost did kill Seymour. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Those... Well, it wouldn't have been an instant kill. You'd just be unconscious. It's true. That was, yeah, that was, that's a serious crit. Um, okay. Crit, 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 crit. Um, it also uses, uh, its movement action to, to fly up. Um, I slash at it as it leaves my threatened range yeah. get, get an opportunity and you have advantage oh right because of the fairy well I got a 15 so mm. but one of them was a 1 so you saved me from dropping my sword again <laughs> yeah, yeah. alright so yes it, was, it wasn't wasn't within my combat range right You're as far as I know you haven't moved out of out of the hallway right yeah I'm still in the hallway I'm um, just making sure he, uh, he flies up 30 feet Um, all right, so some mistakes. that's that's the end of his turn, and now it's Optimus' turn. Um, I'm turn. Am I still able to get uh, get a good line of sight at yep. this yep. dragon? Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and chuck another one of those ice knives. I, I made the mistake of having picking some really great spells and then realizing that that all of them are concentration spells. Oh, <laughs> oh like, no! Oh no! Like I can't. I have I have ice knife. Great. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and so it left the range of fairy fire. So unfortunately, I don't get advantage on this one. I think so. I, I'm just gonna I throw think an ice. Still get it as long as you're throwing it at him. Yeah, I think you still get advantage. You should oh. still have, it. yeah, because yeah. it like wraps around the target. It's fine. Perfect. Oh, uh, nineteen plus things, uh, so twenty-five. Twenty-five. And then he's got to make a dexterity saving throw. All right. 
That's not looking good. Twelve. Now uh, that's a fail. So let me do the d10 damage for piercing. Uh, s seven points of piercing damage. Nice. And nine points of cold damage. Okay, so then as that final ice final. knife uh, pierces it, you defeat this dragon. Do you want to give it any more I would flavor? Love to describe. Absolutely. Um, so uh, Optimus says, uh, "You realize that uh, you are still a bed, so lie down." And then fly <laughs> and throws the, the ice knife up. And then as the uh, as the ice knife goes into the to the heart of the dragon and shatters into pieces, the 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 shredding of all of the sheets and the the wood just kind of like bursts into a confetti, and uh, and just as it rains down uh, on the top of this treehouse. Yes, yeah. A lot of these big chunks come just tumbling down, but there are pieces that just over the next minute or so continue to fall down. Uh, around you. Uh, let me uh, pause this. All right. Yeah. So you have you have uh, destroyed the bed dragon. Uh, here, let me play a fanfare just real quick. It, you could just call it a dragon. You could just call it a dragon. <laughs> yeah, we killed a dragon. Yeah. yeah. You felled In this dungeon. a massive badass dragon. <laughs> you you felled <laughs> the big dragon. That was also a fluffy bed. No. <laughs> no, but it was really a mimic. It was a scary. You guys got yeah. You guys got splinter breath, and that that hurt. Like it was no joke. Um, the way you were saying that, <laughs> it was good. Um, I'm, I'm holding on for dear life for life. Right. So yes, you're right. <laughs> so you've got you've got all of this stuff uh, that has. Uh, uh, been exploded essentially around you. There is a clearly dead wizard. Well, you never bothered to learn the poor guy's name. <laughs> no, you, <laughs> you, you still got you still got a a buying sheep who is now running in to the uh, into the tower to sort of survey all of the uh, the damage, uh, and it's just there, and it runs over. As long as you let him over to the uh, hand holding the uh, the wand, uh, yeah. I would like to get the wand first, if yeah. possible. Yeah. Or actually, Optimus is actually on the same floor as it. Um, if you are, I, I would have definitely walked over to it and kind of yeah. like uh, yeah. you know pried the fingers off and just and lifted it and says, "Well then, all that for this, I I suppose." <laughs> um, and as I see the the sheep coming up. Um, one moment, and then I'm going to cast Speak with Animals. Nice. Um, I believe this is your quarry. I knew it! I knew it as soon as I saw you amongst all of those peasants that you would be the one that would help me. I knew it! I could tell by your magical aura. Thank you. Now, if you don't mind, turn me back into an elf. Uh... That would be great. Oh, absolutely. Um, how do I do that? <laughs> um, I, you should know that as you're holding it and you're and you've already rolled your arcane check and whatnot, that you know that this wand is on the fritz. It's not. It's not great. Um, yes. So, uh, and he he looks at it as well, and he's like. I don't care. I've lived as a sheep for two years. One way or another, I'm out of here. I hope that's as a beautiful elf with gorgeous flowing hair um, and abs of steel. <laughs> um, but... <laughs> I'd like to roll an inside check on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I need to know if these steel, if these abs are really made of steel. Uh -huh. Washboard abs. Yo, he's he's oh, lying. Just twenty six. He's he's lying. <laughs> Hard. You're 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 picking up that uh, you know he's 
he's soft he he spends his time he's in the, yeah he spends his time <laughs> studying and learning spells he's not relying on his brute strength by any means um uh so but he says i can tell everyone has a limited number of uses i've used it quite a bit he's clearly gone mad this foolish apprentice and i it may not work but i'm willing to try it might might morph me into something i don't even recognize it might kill me but it might it might turn me back to normal and i have to take that chance i assume by now my compatriots have joined me and so I'd like to kind of look over at them for an affirming nod. Well? What the... What, what, why? Why do you want... Why should we not just uh, take everything and leave? Well, it just change me back and I will bestow upon you treasures. Yeah, yeah but you did mention treasures. Yeah, yes. but what my, com what my compatriot's trying to say is you're not exactly in a position to stop us, so... I did not... I, when I saw you, I did not think you were the type to take advantage of somebody that, uh, you know, that could... that would need help, but I don't know. I have seen you ruthlessly murder many actual human beings. I mean, they're not elves, granted, but still... Fairly ruthless. Mm, fair. Uh, no, I In suppose you're right. Racist. Is it? I suppose you're right. It wouldn't do to sully the castle and her name. Well, my vote is turn him into whatever if he turns out to, you know, um, if it doesn't work and he dies, then we have a lovely dinner. And if it does work and he uh, lives and betrays us, we can kill him like we killed this one. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just saying, this is a powerful magical wand. The sheep just said that it's got a limited number of charges. Why are we using the last charge on him? Very is, there, I mean... is there a way that we can recharge this device, young sheep? No. There's no way. It's one of a kind. Its uses have already been just milked beyond measure. I've watched him abuse this thing. It's there's no way. Hmm. I suppose we could just kill him anyway. Fair. I mean, uh, listen, Optimus has the wand, so I say, uh, just in case we accidentally kill you when we try to change you back, perhaps it would be prudent for us to learn the location from which we can gather all of these resources. I mean, everything in my tower is yours. Oh, if, is if this you your tower? It was before my apprentice, you know, stole it away from me. Well, then yeah. logically, we have no reason for you to be here. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh, okay, okay, roll, roll uh, intimidation. <laughs> Do intimidation. All right. Can I assist him on it to give him advantage? Mm -hmm. By being menacing and poking the hand that I chopped off, maybe. <laughs> I'm yeah, yeah, not you have intimidating at all. Uh, that's a seven. That was the that was with advantage. <laughs> that's with advantage. Yes, he's. Uh, you hear the way he talks. He's not intimidating unless he gets hurt. Yeah, yeah. Um. So I should have I should have I should have given you advantage by like smacking you so that it like activated your job <laughs> mode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it really makes sense. Um that's just there's, there's really not there's really nothing to lose. I mean, feel free. Loot my establishment. I just need to be free of this curse. That's understandable. With y'all's permission, I would like to give this a try. Why not? Okay. It'll make a, for a uh, good story, at least. I'll right. a switch. <laughs> he floats away! No. Um, How do you love you? <laughs> <laughs> um, what's... Do a... Uh, roll, like, an intelligence 
check of some sort. Yeah. Also and, not his strong suit. Let's go. Antony's yeah. got uh he he's he's being subtle about it by you uh like hiding it with his shield, but he's got his sword like ready. Okay. You know, to to attack if if need be. Mm. That's eleven for an intelligence check. Okay. So you cast the spell and he like closes his eyes and imagines himself returning it returning to an elf. Um but with an eleven you do explode him. He oh, just yes! actually explodes. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, yes, you are you are I, I, sprayed I, I, with him. You're sprayed <laughs> yeah. with him. Yeah, his his oh. blood. It's just it's just everywhere. Uh, and so uh, yeah, that does he he doesn't change. He explodes as a sheep. Yes. Okay. Yes. A peek behind the curtain, he could have changed into some other things, but that was not the role. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but there... Yeah. So... I'm glad we threatened to kill the guy first and then just kill yeah. him anyway. No. If I die, I want to die by my wand. <laughs> so, yes, and, and, and the wand it's sort granted. of fizzles, and, uh, and, you know, you could always try it again in the future, but probably is inadvisable. Um, and yeah, th so then now, if you want, this house is yours and everything in it. Um, that's essentially, Ooh. I'll play the fanfare again. Um, yeah, this is all yours. So when you, when you step outside, you see um, down there at the, uh, the outhouse that that ferryman heard nothing from uh, a bear come out of it <laughs> with a... Uh, just like a roll of toilet paper surveying everything around him. <laughs> What's that? It better be Charmin. It's gotta be. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, and Is there he a just... little bit of the paper hanging off of his butt still? Uh, yeah, little, little pieces. Uh, and uh, <laughs> and he, you just see him run him into the forest. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, sure. that's it. No, hold on. Hold what? on. Are you telling me that the bear doesn't shit in the woods? <laughs> well, this it's not. It's not a bear. He's a man. But we, we we he he got away, huh? I guess I guess my my bloodlust has been sated for the day. Yes, he ran you away. Are literally coated in blood, right? Literally. Yes, <laughs> yes you're coated in blood. It's so, but yeah. he's, he's licking it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Finally, mm -hmm. the rest of my mutton. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, Yay! That's it. The mutton. You did it. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, yeah, I had, uh, I had a lot of fun with that and learned a number of things along the way. <laughs> and that Excellent. the friendship well was done. the treasure all along. The friendship, yes. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Is there an after credit scene, Tonka? Uh, yeah, 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 when credits are gonna roll for for a little while, uh, and then uh, the uh, uh, then you see the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a real left turn for Disney. But, hey, you know yeah. what? I'll take it. It is in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yes. Yeah, uh, good. Officially, for sure. Yeah. Um. Yeah. yeah that's that's it, and we can. It's a good, it's a good spot. Well, yeah, see. we can end there. Howard. If there's any, uh, is there any unfinished thoughts? I guess not necessarily in this, but just like, yeah, I had. Um, there's some of the things that you could have won in the beginning. Some some plush creatures uh, may have been the target of the polymorph spell if you still had those on you. <laughs> you know. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, all kinds, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I always like that. So, um, yes, you would have had to fight the bear if you if you checked in in the uh, in the outhouse. <laughs> I was going to. It was very tempting to try and knock it over. I was going to try that. Yes. Oh yeah, knock it over for sure while they're uh, yeah while they're in it. You are ruthless. Um, I had to respect the rule. He didn't hear anything. So yes, um, I'm going to post on there. We uh, another. I'm gonna right here, Demeist, special guest and fellow streamer and beautiful role player. Um, check him out if you haven't. You have to follow. 
I knew when I uh, came across this channel as an immediate follow, and I have been loving it ever since, and I know you will too. So make sure that you go and show him some love there. These other two guys, they don't stream. Why not? They're delightful. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's a lot. But don't uh, just just uh, say say farewell to them. That's uh, they're my they're my relatives, and I love them so much. Um, everybody that's in the chat that I didn't get to interact with as you were doing a chit chat, um, I you know. I normally love to talk with people while they're in there, you know, can't really disrupt the, the flow. Also, there's a whole bunch more channel points and things. Had to disable them for this for the stream. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if, if you enjoyed uh, and you hadn't followed yet, would love it. I'll be nice to you, I promise. Um, all of uh, Demise community that came over, it was absolutely delightful. I know from being over in the streams that you guys are lovely. Um, and I will look at uh, uh, adding conspiracy content for you in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Don't promise them that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I guess that's it. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. You're great players. Thank you for running it, Doc. It's yes, like thank you. Fantastic. Good, good. And Perhaps we can do it another time. Speaking of conspiracies to mice, there's a, a, a top hat seems to be shipping Seymour and Anthony. <laughs> Listen, in the in the heat of the moment, Thanks, when it's when it's raining and the roof is gone, and there's only <laughs> one two person bed in the entire a uh, two person tent in the entire place, yeah. you know who's who's to say who's yeah. to say? And, and you're coated in sheep blood. What, what, <laughs> who knows what can happen? Your humors your humors are out of alignment. You need you need a little bit of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, as you know, the 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 sheet pieces are falling down like beautiful flower petals. It's just a it's a wonderful <laughs> moment. <laughs> beautiful. Uh, yeah. Thanks again. Good night, everybody. Sleep tight. And watch out when you go to bed. Sleep. Make sure it's an actual dragon. And watch out when you go. I mean, an actual bed. But check to see if it's a dragon. Either way, you want to know.